Hello, everybody. Um, we're back. Hey, we'll be having new layout on the stream. Oh, yes, we this have is new. new also, we've got also a new um, layout. Guy who's been gone for a while. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything else to tell me? No, Thanks nothing. It'll be fine. Time. Ooh. <laughs> it's all okay. And did a thing. Um. Yeah, and did a thing. Um. We have we have both layouts. To be fair, this is our um sort of no map. <laughs> There's a lovely bit of role play going on, but there's dice um, so that any dice rolls and stuff come up. Um, but keeps the focus on the the, the, play, the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if there's ever another time if there's ever another time where I have to gargle water and speak, you can see all of yes, it. Yes, which was quite amusing. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. It, it was worth it. I got a story point out of that. <laughs> you did get a story point out of that. Which is, I guess that's just like, that just goes to show, it's like, you can make me do anything if you promise me rewards. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a story point. Like, I'll give you a like point a in this game puppy. that's not actually tangible tender, and I'll, be, I'll still do anything. <laughs> anyway, we should probably introduce ourselves. <laughs> yes, there's a thought. We should introduce ourselves. Hi everybody, I am Matthew. I am the GM today. Unfortunately, if you're looking in the chat, you'll notice that we are missing both the Green Ranger Michael, whose boiler decided to explode about an hour <laughs> before we were supposed to be Just screaming. now it happened. Was there a laser involved? Just, went... Just out of curiosity. Oh, <laughs> um... We'll have to have that conversation after the stream just to check. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, uh, Anne is not going to be here for this week and next week. But we do still have the three lovely people who are on my right side. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> mm. sure. left. You're right. Viewer's right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's on my right. So I, th who are going to introduce themselves? I think I'm. Is was Jay first or was Michael first? So I'm. I'm trying to figure Michael out first. if I have to go first now. <laughs> so here's the funny thing that I, I'm not sure anybody's realised at any point. And to be fair, I'm not sure I ever mentioned it. I just kind of. I think it's in order. Wondered. To go. Panic is first. On the roll twenty. I actually put all of the tokens. In the right order. Oh, I always forget that. I never, never once noticed that. So it would be Peter, Sophie, Cal, Sarah, Q. All right. So I guess I am going first. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm Panic. I'll be playing Cal, the Yellow Ranger, which is weird. I am the only <laughs> Michael, and I'll be playing Sarah, the Black <gasps> Ranger. He's no yeah. longer also Michael. He is just Michael. <laughs> As Chesney Hawks once sang, you are the one and only. <laughs> um, and I am Jay. I have been missing this game for like four weeks, which is a little bit disorientating to come back to. I'm also very jet lagged, but I will be attempting to play the Red Ranger of this group. Who knows what could happen? Triumphant return. Oh, God, we have a first time watcher. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the chaos, first time watcher. <laughs> well, it... welcome to just three out of five. <laughs> As I've been Hello, told, first time watcher. Um, um, it, it gets better. Normal, we're definitely awesome. It is normally better. It's a little bit chaotic today. It's the holiday season. It is the season the for abject sort of... chaos. <laughs> You know, and oh, things have happened. Just bear with us a little bit. It'll be better in January, I promise. Meanwhile, I have to cross my heart. An hour earlier. I <laughs> swear, I swear, it'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> but last week we focused on Cal, who was having a. Bit of a 
let's find my inner happiness moment. It turns out my inner um, happiness is is found in the field of battle. <laughs> it is yes. Cow's inner happiness is punching fighting people. <laughs> Just straight violence. That that's what <laughs> lies at the core of Cal. Um and out of curiosity, Cal. Mm-hmm. Um, and for our new time, uh, our first time watcher, Cal, our Yellow Ranger, has a friend. friend? Not a friend. <laughs> Not, I have a parasite. In his head. They defeated um, Infernia, uh, a volcano monster. Goddess. Who, yep. Does seem to think that she is a goddess, possibly some sort of elemental spirit, or maybe cow's crazy. I mean, look, we went. I went through a very if, if, detailed if, if, checklist yeah. last episode was, that was, provides me with a lot of proof question. that I am not crazy and that she is a parasite. That was the question. Where did you fall on the crazy parasite? Oh, ve- heavy in favor of parasite. There were like nine checks for Parasite and almost nothing for Cal being crazy. So, well, uh, Cal's crazy, but not because of his no, brain. he's he's completely fine. He's normal. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to bat crap, he is probably seven. <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. Um, and this is yes, episode nineteen now. Oh my life. kind of scary. I didn't actually write down on my notes what episode it was because I couldn't remember where we were at. Yeah. Um, 19, did you say? Sorry, jet lag. 19, 1 9. Okay. Um, this week, having focused on Sophie, Peter, and Cal, one by one by one. Today we are focusing on Sarah. And I'm sure everything is going to be fine. A okay. So as the new day dawns, <laughs> where do we find Sarah? Uh in the dorm. Morning. It is indeed. I guess Sarah was, She's... wakes up to a text from Sophie, who has snuck out of the dorm in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, all right. Have a good time being weird. Bye. <laughs> She'll sit up in the bed, look at the other side of the room, see the new addition being the Green Ranger plushie. This is how we found out about the merch. <laughs> and then immediately take a picture, send it, and go, <laughs> lol. <laughs> there is indeed a Green Ranger plushie on um, Sophie's bed. And to the keen observer, there is a um, label sticking out from the sides. And it just has this logo of a letter N. And on the back end of the N, as it goes downwards, there's just it just turns into a lightning bolt. And as Cal confirmed last week, through his interactions with the production team for Ninja Warrior. This is in fact the label for Ninja Entertainment. And it is Sunday. It seems somebody... It is Sunday, yes. Um, And somebody has been making apparently plushy versions of the new Power Rangers. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, I probably have a shift because it's not a school day. So, yeah. 
Get ready for work and go to said work. And uh, on the way, I will text Wyatt, like, you got any time today? We should probably actually have a conversation. Whilst Sarah is on her way to work, Cal, you had a bit of a busy day yesterday. You fought sharks, land sharks, rescued real sharks, and then battled clowns. Mm hmm. Are you at work today? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I still need income. I'll um, be at work. <laughs> rent free, but you know, there's still bills to pay. I don't I mean grocery. That's it. <laughs> I don't pay you till I don't pay rent, but gotta keep the kitchen stock with something, and I don't think that the grid can manifest food. Unless it can, in which case, dang. <laughs> That's impressive. Groceries and a phone bill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> unlimited unlimited data plan on a on a flip phone from two thousand three. <laughs> exactly. so As you are making your way into work at the juice bar, the roads are quiet. It's still fairly early on a Sunday, and whilst there are people out jogging, um, walking dogs, it's not overly busy. And at some point between walking between one road and another, taking a turn, you feel that familiar sensation of energy as you are teleported from the streets mid stride <laughs> to the command center what the oh i guess i'm doing this now <laughs> um <laughs> thanks for that and <laughs> before you is Q. Q! Welcome back! You didn't die and that's incredible. Thank thanks for coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. How was space, weirdo? Um Black. Mostly. That's uneventful. Very detailed. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh yeah, it was a lot i'm still trying to process it but we can uh i'm i'm, I'm sure we'll have time to talk about it more in depth yeah. later we can maybe get a campfire going uh not here obviously in the <laughs> simulation room um Cal was let's, let's not get peter too excited fire the base. Yeah. Speaking of lighting fires, well, there was that one time when Peter did light a fire outside. <laughs> oh yeah, we can, yes. we can have a campfire in the in the oxygen bubble with Tor. <laughs> with yeah, Tor and the Dragon Zord and, and the Dragon Zord, yeah, just chilling. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what did I miss? Uh, a lot of shenanigans. Apparently some crazy stuff happened with light speed. Uh probably gonna need to talk to Sophie about that. She's with them now, actually, I think. Saw her leave this morning, don't know where she went. I think she oh, said she is was that... there. Yeah, I saw a text that I was half awake. I don't know. I think the real important development in Sophie's life is there's now a Green Ranger plushie on her bed. There's a what? Yeah. Oh, that yeah, the biggest thing you missed, Ninjor has apparently started using our likenesses to produce merchandise. Who? 
Although, uh, or does Q the, know who Ninja is at this point? It's like the host of a of like a game show. Like he, yeah, I mean, you he makes people run the, obstacle courses. In a few days, we're doing that uh, Ninja or Warrior thing with Lightspeed. Do you remember that? Uh, from the barbecue. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I we're doing yeah, that we, at some we, point. Yeah. The date has not been ironed out yet. Yeah. We should but, probably do some training in the command center. Get it to replicate. Some of the rigs off TV, we might get an inside <laughs> um, advantage. Oh, yeah. Big well, into that. Don't forget, you're teamed up with, I think it's Carter, right? Like, or... Okay, then no, absolutely. You cannot do that at all, and I certainly won't either. <laughs> this is tyranny. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a mental note to lock everybody else out from being able to program any ninja or training. <laughs> no, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> Our leader, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he absolutely would not do that. Bold and fearless leader. <laughs> uh, aside yeah. from that, um, Peter has been working on a oh, grid disruptor. Died. That's a uh, small detail there. Yeah, Peter almost died. Yeah, he got the crap beaten out of him by some gold by Goldar. guy. Yeah. Goldar, that was his name? Yeah, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Have you not read like the histories? What? Where you? No, <laughs> I'm busy. You're here all the time. You have. I have things to do. <laughs> okay. Wait. It's just like Goldar I'm not. Hmm? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Wait, Goldar at, at, attacked us, or uh, Goldar showed up and was doing something. We attacked him, and by Peter. we, I mean Peter by himself attacked Goldar. There. There's some sort of uh, history there, I think. I don't know the details. There was a he was, Peter was angry. There like, was a de there was a team of defensive linemen, except they were all putties, and we fought it. those. Yeah. But Peter got into a one on one with Goldar, I guess his name is, and it did not go well, from what I saw. In fact, went very badly for him. Yeah, but he's okay now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, I he's a, I wouldn't know emotionally. Yeah. I don't know if yeah, he's gone yeah. to see a therapist. He's alive and he's healthy. <laughs> yeah. Could well, not give him an answer on that. his mental state. Mm -hmm. The quick intervention of Sophie made sure he didn't just, you know, lose a limb or three. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Q, you, you, you knew Peter sort of growing up through martial arts training and things like that. Um, you know that Goldar was responsible for Peter's mum's death. Not indirectly, either. Yeah. Very directly. <laughs> Very directly. Like, it was quite pointed. Poignant? That too. There was a sword involved. Pointed. Right, I wasn't sure if that was a deliberate choice of words or just an unfortunate yes. choice of words. <laughs> no. Also. There was a sword involved. Yeah. Also, oh, if... also relevant to tell you, uh, Finster is is here. Not oh, yeah. in the base, just around, alive, no doing <laughs> Finster things, I guess. Uh, and uh, humans who live in the town are, in fact, putties. We yeah, killed. Yeah, that... Was it who did we kill? Dwayne and someone else. And, and Jason, I think. Dwayne Dwayne, and Jason. Yeah. Dwayne and Jason ne were never human. Changeling putties. We killed them. And that farmer guy was totally in the mall again. Like it's just everywhere. I don't. He's understand. either really unlucky or like a beacon for these things. Yeah. So we may have to deal with him at some point. Maybe. Probably should do more research before we grab him off the street, though. Like, y'all might have <laughs> yeah. went to his farm, like, because he is just popping up. Everywhere. As in the llama farmer? Yes. Yeah. Farmer Sorshin, or whatever his name is. <laughs> hey, hey, what's Sorry. this guy's name? <laughs> but, uh, I wouldn't say so, John, but that's not, that's, I'm not sure. that's Overwatch but, uh, 2. Um, definitely so, his name. Yeah, his name so, is Farmer Sorich. Sorich. Yeah, Sorich, that's, that's it. it. Right, so, uh, yeah, yeah humans yeah. that we may have known our entire lives may in fact just be 
uh, putty putty uh, people. So, gonna have to deal uh, with that. Okay, well, I, I'm glad nothing much happened whilst I was gone. There were some. Didn't get into any Zord fought. fights. No, no Zords, but there were sharks that turned back into sharks. There were putty sharks. Uh, no. shark monsters. Like you remember Pudgy Pig? Yeah, 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 yeah. They were like that. They were like that. Like a like weird bipedal shark men, and then what? Like that film by that company. <laughs> Yeah, like that film from that company. Yeah. When, when shark face. Up, but when we shark. defeated him, when we defeated th- them, there were two. One of them was on the land. Uh, when we defeated them, uh, they did turn back into normal sharks. So more of that alchemy. Okay. Question. Is mm-hmm. Finster definitely Finster? And is Clay Doyle's Pete definitely not Finster? I think so. I mean, look, if we're to take Peter's word for it, Cladoius Pete, completely separate from Finster. Yeah. I would like to see them both in a room before I make that call. Yeah, I'm, I'm like does 70. One of them, yeah. I mean, does one of them wear glasses and one of them not? Because that's tripped Peter over before. Superman was such a hard comic to get through. Mm. That's a good point. We'll have to we'll have to look more into it. Yeah, but no, I did I, I did like watch it tape from like the last time Finster showed up. He's gotten buffer. Like he's oh. got physically, physically he's gotten much more swole. This guy is stronger. That's for sure. yeah. not good because his weakness was he was always terrified of physical confrontation. Yeah, this guy got yeah. he got ripped. I don't know what the, it's crazy. <laughs> like I managed to hurt him, but it was not easy. And then he ran away. And then and then he convinced me to let him run away. And I'm sorry, he, he did what? <laughs> he, he, uh, what? I wasn't aware of that one. He, it wasn't going well for us anyway. So what are you talking? We killed so many clowns and also Dwayne and Jason. Yeah, and then, then he was... gave you the puppy dog eyes, and oh, he was weirdly convincing in the moment. Okay, we might need to work on that one. <laughs> so, yeah, oh well, it has I'm been. Glad busy, you had a nice but... restful break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily out of hand. Like I said, no Zord fights, so at least we didn't have to worry about that. We did have and... a fight Ryan a couple days ago. Who? Who? Ryan, the titanium. <laughs> oh. Jerk. oh, yeah, you guys. The mic dropped, him. as you said. Yeah. Uh, so he's you mentioned him at some point. Still here? He... Still. Yeah, we had to pop. We there, we were doing like an exchange day again or something, and. Uh... Uh, Carter lost his damn mind because he's not all there, and we had to go. We had to intervene when Ryan was robbing a museum. We almost we we beat the shit out of that guy. I want to say that right now, but he still managed to get the thing he was looking for and got out. Well, that sucks. Yeah, no, definitely. We think it's something to free the demons or. Something demony. I don't know. I'm not an archaeologist. Damn it, Jim. <laughs> um, so, yeah, eventful. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy few days. Like since you've been gone, everything just exploded a little bit. Like day no after day, popping off. Definitely not your fault. Okay, well, um, I can't remember her name, and that's really going to bug me because I had it in my head earlier today. Yeah. Is it a okay, reference well, thank or you for a that, Kelly Clarkson? Yeah. Okay, it's a reference. <laughs> yeah. Um, Since you've been gone. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Um, that one's been written down for the playlist. <laughs> Wait, if we're still doing the playlist thing, then you do... I, I am obligated to ask you to put Masked Wolf's Astronaut in the Ocean on it, too. <laughs> because I made so many Astronaut in the Ocean references like, last time. You need to put every song that is like shown up when Zara, Zara, Sarah's Zord pops in. <laughs> if I don't remember <laughs> offhand. Well, there were no Zord fights when I was gone, so that one's okay. Anyhow, I, I actually think that probably... Q is curating this playlist in-game as much as he is, as much as I am, 
outside of game. I think it's the mm. kind of thing that Q would do as well, just music and memories and uh, choreography waiting to happen. Um, mm. Cool. Um, well, I probably need to check in with Alpha. What? Quick question for Matt. Did I summon them here for a reason? Alpha did. Um, more as a okay. Q's back. Um, but before he got a chance to actually say anything, it was just a case of, hey, Q's back. And everybody kind of... Oh. <laughs> he hit the button in his excitement. Yeah. Yeah. I was about yeah. to say, well, I better check in with Alpha, which might be a perfect segue. <laughs> yep. Um, whilst this has been happening, Sarah's phone has gone off not once, but twice. There is a message from her brother, uh, from Wyatt, that just says it's probably a good idea if we do catch up lots to talk about um and a message from kelsey that just says hey you can sing right we're going to respond to that one first <laughs> uh yes question mark why six question marks you get the dot 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 come up <laughs> as she's typing a response and then it drops out for a moment <laughs> and then pops back up and it just karaoke question mark I've never done that sure when and where? Tonight. Angel Grove. Not sure where. I'll figure it out. Cal probably knows a guy. Are we? Is this a group thing? Just you and me? What was? What's the plan? Um. I'm sorry. The idea is like, hey, Cal, you want to go to karaoke? It's like inviting Cal is like, I cannot think of a worse thing to invite him to. It, you see those three dot dot dots pop up, disappear, pop up, disappear. And it, this happens quite a few times. And after a minute or two, there's not a response. There's twitching. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> How about Wyatt? Not so. There's there's no re no no, response, no further response. After a minute or two, there's no okay. response. It's almost like she's not quite <laughs> sure what to say. You can see that she's typing and then sort of stops, deletes the message, starts again, stops, and then just kind of. Whatever's happened, it's just completely stopped. There's no message comes through. That, I'm not going to throw up. That's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, unbeknownst, <laughs> unbeknownst to Sarah, uh, Infernia and Cal are once again behind a sports desk doing <laughs> color commentary. I'm looking at my phone screen. <laughs> what is this now? Hmm. <laughs> Hey, oh, fun. rookie mistake. That's going to cost her the season. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'll respond to Wyatt. Uh, I... I have a shift today, but I'm out at, like, 2. So, 2.30? Uh, somewhere in Mariner Bay, I guess. I can get there easier than you can get here. Pick a place. He just responds, I'll see you uh, at work. Your work or mine? 
am confused now. Yours. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and it's just, I hear uh, Cal makes really weird but awesome drinks. Everybody else got one at the barbecue. Um, there, I'll have one waiting. Hey, Cal, I got a special special order for a milkshake around uh, two 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 fifteen today. Any My particulars brother. on the flavor? Nope. Just make it. Just do your thing. You got it. <laughs> the juice bar is as busy as you would expect on a Sunday um, early morning. There are kids... Checking her three minutes. <laughs> Kelsey, no. Um, there are kids playing on the arcade machines... Um, reading books, browsing the comics, older teenagers eating burgers and fries, playing pool. Um, what you do notice is that ever since Kimberly's death, there hasn't been a balance beam set up. Ever since Tommy's Nobody has tried running any sort of martial arts lessons. The space is still there. It's not being used. It's not blocked off. It's just like people are avoiding it. And... Every now and again, you will see Ernie just lean on the bar and let his eyes drift over there. Ernie's here today? That's weird. But is off. Has Ernie seen my milkshakes before? <laughs> oh, without a doubt. They do bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. going to say. I would imagine he uh, uses them as part of their social media campaign. Just pictures of the milkshakes, the smoothies, everything. Just, you know, mystery. What will you get a hold of today sort of thing. <laughs> Sarah is still checking her phone every like two minutes <laughs> 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 trying to distract herself by doing work but it's not working <laughs> Ernie does sort of glance over at one point and that's um, that's the hundredth time you've checked that today are you expecting a call a message are you busy oh uh, did you need like the afternoon off well I, i'm out at two but uh, i mean kind of maybe i i i got left unread and she was typing and then it's been like three hours and i i'll put it away i'll put it away sorry no i mean it's okay. You're doing your job. Like, it's, the place is tidy. Drinks are moving. Everything's fine. Just making conversation. Just, oh, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, just, um, yeah. it's a girl? <laughs> yeah. You like her? <clears throat> yeah, 
Yes. You think so? Yeah. You told her? Absolutely not. Oof. Sarah. You know, people aren't mind readers. It makes it real. Uh-huh. And then if I if I say something and then things go wrong and then it's complicated and in ways right okay. yeah but if they don't it's the whole whole can of whole can of problems that I, nobody we have a uh, mutual friend groups that it could cause a great deal of problems so you're just borrowing trouble i'm good at that i mean seems like it's an awful lot of effort mm. maybe i mean she's also like kelsey is what 21 oh, something 2021 20, I know they're older because <laughs> they're they're because they have Miller. jobs. <laughs> yeah, they're they're fully. Old. You Realize can't be a you can't be a high you can't be a high schooler with attitude if you're a firefighter. <laughs> the firefighters don't hire uh, yes, high LC schoolers with attitude. 21. She's also like three years older than I am, so. I mean, I don't know. I just, she obviously means a lot. You keep checking your phone. You want to hear from her. Just. Maybe message her. No. It's her see... turn in the conversation. Is that <laughs> a texting word? Her turn in the con. <laughs> you see Ernie kind of just like grimace. It's just. Oof. Kids. <sighs> you know. There was this whole will they won't they thing with Tommy and Kimberly. Um, for a while, I thought her and Jason were going to end up together, but I don't know. He came in, things seemed to change, and they... I bet it was the long hair. Could have been. And he sort of pats his own head, he's like... <laughs> hmm. Um but you know you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Ernie. Yeah. Um sorry. Are you are you okay? You seem a little... You're not usually here today. Right. Just... Yeah, it's... Um, but just had some things he had to do. Um, didn't sure, seem like... But... It's just really weird. Like... Yeah, you, you've, been, you've been polishing that one cup for like a good two hours. Like... <laughs> There's just like a there's just like a camera shift to the back and Cal is like the only one actually making milkshakes. <laughs> Cal's the only one like really working. He's he's popping the milkshake. I'm doing out. everything. Yeah. Um he's he's getting the fries out and and sliding the food down to people. Um food, drinks, and yep. waiting all of the ta all of the tables. <laughs> just I mean 
we're busy you know it's 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 not quiet but it doesn't feel right it doesn't it's like going to There's a house something. and you know when it's not being lived in mhm mm yeah i think i know what you mean i uh been walking around with that feeling for over a decade i just see a lot of kids grow up you know they graduate they go to college they move on and i'm i'm kind of used to that I just i don't know i think they were just such a big part of angel grove and I think the everyday absences are worse than the big moments. I <clears throat> I didn't know either of them for a long time, but they were very good to me. At a time when I needed someone to be. And I feel pretty confident in saying they wouldn't want any of us moping. We should do something. Should probably pull that beam back out. I think, I, I know Kim would want that beam to be back out and somebody on there. For someone. I'd have to speak to somebody at the school or the college. I, mean, I used to watch them doing their thing, but... I bounce, but I don't really balance. I'm padded. Oh, I mean... I'm... She showed me a little bit. I'm not great. I'm not a super proficient gymnast. I'm working. I mean, but uh, the real gymnast is is pointing at himself and framing yeah. his face. But as far as the uh, the other part, the I mean, both maybe even, but the at least the martial arts part, I can give Q a call. Yeah, um, that would be. That would be amazing. I remember he used to do classes with Jason. Um, yeah. Yeah, if he's not too busy. And Sophie is out of town, but she, I mean, she's at UCAG on a, like, gymnastic scholarship. So once she's back, and I'm sure we can get her to maybe teach a class or two. That would be, that would be fantastic. Just... You know, just having somebody here just to get the kids up and, and doing their thing. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, uh, hold on. No, call Q. <laughs> How long can I draw this out? <laughs> Just a, just a really long like dial tone. <laughs> <laughs> I was very. I wish I could get rid of this cough. I was very tempted to then just do an answer phone message. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, Sarah, what's up? Hey, uh, are you busy today? Um, it's Sunday. No. Right. Uh, Ernie and I have been talking, and. Uh... This place needs some uh, some life injected back into it. You uh, interested in doing some classes? Uh, yeah. If it's if Ernie thinks it's time, then yeah, I've been looking for excuses to be too busy to go home. So, yeah, we'll unpack that at some point. All right. 
well, you should uh, <laughs> come on down and uh, hammer that out with, with old Ernie here. Okay, um, I'll pop down in a bit. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, he'll be here in a bit. Well, uh, you guys can figure all that out. You see Ernie I mean, uh, just, like, he lights up. He has such a smile on his face that he physically seems to change. His buddy. posture, he stands a little bit taller. His shoulders are pulled a little bit further back. He's no longer slumping forward or leaning so heavily on the bar. And he puts that glass down sort of pats you on the shoulder and thanks and just good luck kid just I hope <laughs> really hope just I really hope everything works out well for you and thank you thank you yeah I'm cool. glad to help and he I mean and uh Go on. I mean, if we pull that beam out, people can watch me fall off it for a while. But, you know. <laughs> he moves over and drags the beam out. Um, and literally oh, oh, drags it. That. It's just like... <laughs> across the floor and... Okay. I guess today is common. Yeah. All right. And once he's pulled it out far enough, he just... <clears throat> Everybody, he hello. Um, we're gonna start setting up some classes again soon. But just in the meantime, um, Sarah's agreed to just put on a little bit of a show. Just if you wanted to, um... this guy's good. <laughs> what an amazing MC. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to... Eh, all right. It's like cats with a laser pointer. All the focus is just immediately directed to Sarah. Exactly. And this is not like if, if it was singing, no problem. Gymnastics? <laughs> <laughs> with an air of expectation of following yes. an introduction. While singing? <laughs> hey, at that point, it becomes performing arts, and I'm good at that. <laughs> You could do some sort of dance routine. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I will walk over to the thing. Uh, kick, kick off my shoes. All right. Stretch. Ernie? You... Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> you, everything okay? So as I walked in... No, no, I walked... I, I walked into this window. This is fine. All right. Problem? Here we go. Let's see. Now we find out if they fixed this yet. I'm assuming they haven't. Nope. All right. That didn't work. No, okay. they did drop me so... an email at some point uh, during the stream, but I have not checked it yet. Um, for those in the chat, uh, at some point since Thursday last week, the Roll20 dice roller... Um, rolling from the sheet does not work properly anymore um hey we may have lost rolling dice from the sheet and therefore we can't get our bonuses added automatically we can't set difficulty and that none of that matters anymore but at <laughs> least we can print character sheets from yeah, exactly. can roll our own dice <laughs> As a feature is only fifth edition sheets at the moment. Right, right, right. So you know, it's a pretty balanced trade, if you ask me. It makes sense, you know. Wait, wait, you can't even print the Power Ranger sheet. No, no they, of course you can't. Them. What are you talking about? No way. The developer has to turn the feature on, and as they're the developer, they have not turned the feature on. It's it is and truly baffling. Sheet. Just how yeah. little Roll20 cares about the Power Rangers RPG. Seriously. We are not throwing shade. 
Oh. Uh, we have indeed. Wait, question. Can oh, you still, yeah. or at least I have. Can you still like roll okay. a D two? Is that something that can happen, or can we no longer do that? I'll try it out. You can. Uh, you can do it in the. Yeah. In the chat bar. Okay, but it, yeah. you won't get the. You won't what get the you the window. So the you know. Hold on. Silver lining. You will no longer crit on a D two. D two. Or anything. I mean, yeah. Other than the fact that the two is showing is green. I mean, <laughs> not, I think that still, still doesn't think say crit. I think that just means high number. No, it means crit. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Wild. Or it <laughs> means something significant. So I just did a D twenty, got a four, and that just comes up as a normal like black four. It, oh. it does mean highest possible roll, but the words critical success don't appear. So you know, yeah. we take the good with the bad. <laughs> By which I mean, we take literally no good and only bad. <laughs> I guess the uh, the super important question now is, having seen the chat, does Q in fact arrive in time to witness this disaster? Because I rolled a one, and we're taking that story point. <laughs> um, Q. <laughs> yeah. Do you arrive in time to witness this disaster? I, I think like... Q probably walked in for comedic value. Q walked in just as Ernie finished pulling out the balance bar caught the introduction and is just quietly at the back of the room with his phone out on record. Uh, let's give it's... you some story points then. Yeah. Can I use the story point that he just generated to make it so that Kelsey also walks in to see this terrible disaster? <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> so, so, you can use it to summon like an item that you need in a scene. So, why not a character? Yeah, here's the thing. Yeah, I'm I'll, gonna I'll do that. that. <laughs> I'm it, it, gonna do that. Instead of replying to the text, she decides to talk to me in person and comes in on. Thanks, thanks. You're you're a good friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here's that drink you ordered. <laughs> As yeah, Sarah hops up on that beam and like it's probably it's probably good for like fifteen seconds. And then just oh. like she goes to do like a cartwheel and over, over, over wheels, and just barrels through like three tables. Oh, yeah. Right. Good. Kelsey does walk into Ow. um the juice bar, <laughs> and for a moment she stands there, just shocked on her face at what she sees. Damn it! But then she rushes over. <laughs> At the same time, Q Almost stops recording and rushes into. She slides to her knees beside Sarah. What the? Sort of shoves a table over out of her way. Cal catches it. It's like, all right, that no bodily, problem. Like just boom, gum. Um, and just like grabs hold of her. Just like, are you, are you okay? Is it? Are you hurt? Is everything okay? Are you... All right. Just... What does it hurt? Right. You... But ow. What? All right, you... Infernia, and a, a, uh, an opportunity has been given. Let's see what our player does with it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Hi. You're. Ow. <laughs> Sit up. I... Hi. You... you didn't. You didn't respond to my message, so I I came along and I just. <laughs> Respond to my, my. I'm confused. I don't know how texting works. I. <laughs> Hot, um, did I miss a message? <laughs> Immediately just pull out the phone. <laughs> or actually, no. The phone would be like on the table over there. Never mind. She was like, so. Did, I mean, did I miss a message while I was flying through the air? Oh. Um. Ow, ow. Are you hurt? No. I'm bruised a little bit, maybe, but I think. Yeah. Bruised. Okay. You yeah. can still sing. I don't think I landed on my throat. 
Okay. You know, no like busted ribs. Your chest is okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and she pulls out her phone. Um, and she flips out, oh, like she flips through to her messages, and she just. Oh. And she turns her phone around and there is just a message and there's a big red exclamation mark next to it where it failed to send. Oh! Thanks, technology. Um. <laughs> Alright. Cal Amazing. is going to try to time this just right. <laughs> but, uh, uh as... Has is Sarah like gotten up? Like, are they like at a table I, now? I, I, I just like you want know, to help me up, I guess. <laughs> and she stands and grabs a hold of Sarah's hand and gently pulls her up <laughs> and stretch out the like the fall. Um, I was gonna fall. I didn't think I was gonna fall that bad. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to learn how to do things like this, <laughs> can I roll a persuasion? <laughs> um, <laughs> daggers. Oh, yes. too many daggers. Please do. He's <laughs> like, look, that was bad, and it was supposed to be the advertisement for, you know, the, the whole, like, hey, more balance beam things coming soon if you want to learn how to do stuff. So, like, let's, let's, see, if, let's see if I can salvage this somehow. If you uh, two 16? <laughs> There's kind of... People look concerned about Sarah's fall. There's a few people that are looking at Kelsey, like... Is, is there that the light? And there's a few people that are muttering, like... She looks really familiar. Is she the yellow light speed ranger? Nope. No, she'd be a Mariner Bay, not Angel Grove. And, like, what's she doing talking to, to Sarah? She just... No, don't be silly. Just... um. But you do see some parents with younger kids and some of the teenagers walk over and start chatting with Ernie, who goes and grabs a sign-up sheet and starts taking down some details. Hey. Sometimes I'm um, too good. <laughs> Don't worry, I will not be the one teaching the class. Uh, Cal will then bring over the special drink that uh, that Sarah had ordered for Kelsey, and it's just it's not even like in a it's not even like in a glass. It's like a it's a whole. You know how like there are like model cars and such. That's just an entire model ATV. <laughs> And I put that down on a tray, and I'm like, "Here's your drink." <laughs> I, now, I now I know what you're thinking, but before you say anything, attempt to drink it. <laughs> she will find that she can, in fact, drink it. <laughs> hey, Cal. And I actually, as that was Kelsey starts to drink, I ordered a drink for my brother. Wyatt walks through the door. At the drink was for my... Oh, it's okay. I got one for him, too. <laughs> How did you know Q was going to be here? You... Because, like I said earlier, sometimes I'm just too good. <laughs> and he goes to the back to get Wyatt's drink. Now, I don't... Now, full disclosure, I don't know a lot about your brother. So, in terms of making it personal, it's going to be a little more difficult. It will be wild. <laughs> I can promise that. Uh, and I bring out a Dutch windmill. <laughs> what is happening? And you see Wyatt look at it for a second, and then with his free hand, he just spins the wind, the, like the windmill part. It's just like, wow, it's just like my trip. Holy shit, I'm so good. <laughs> You went to the Netherlands? Yeah, I think four years ago, four and a half years ago, we was doing like a foreign exchange language study program. Oh. I'm going to live in... 
Nope, nope, we're not doing that. All right. Well, that's neat. That's cool. All right. Uh, is it already two? Shit. All right. Um. Mm. Well, you you just missed my uh, my an incredible fail. display. Yeah. <laughs> It was breathtaking. Uh, I know. I felt my I felt my breath go away. <laughs> I'm, I'm like I'm trying to describe the event to Wyatt in a way that does not just sound like you totally beefed it. <laughs> I have I've never seen anything. Kelsey, <laughs> Kelsey looks between Wyatt and Sarah for a moment in confusion. It's just like you're. Brother and sister? Have we not? It's been it's been a wild few days. Yeah, no, yeah. It's uh, my uh, <laughs> my long lost brother. I mean, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, you can blame the uh, American foster care system. I'm 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 really sorry. Mm. Do you want me to... I can come back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you found a place? With, I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even read the message. I just saw... <laughs> do you find... Is it... Uh, no. Um, Cal, I've been told you know... People. <laughs> everyone. I've, I've been known to know. <laughs> um, I need a karaoke venue. Right. All right, let's see if I can do this. One big enough for like mm -hmm. half a dozen to a dozen people. All right, trying to beat a twelve. It's possible. It did not work. That's an eleven. <laughs> it's a nine plus two. <laughs> Cal's oh, Cal's Cal. friends in the entertainment uh, section are not as are not as diverse as other things he does not get to know he doesn't go to these places so how can he get to know them <laughs> this is when ernie sweep um, sure you got like a, a computer in the back maybe you can oh yeah help me for out. sure uh lead her over to the computer yeah. stations just google maps karaoke bars in the in the next like mile radius we've got to have it karaoke stop phoning them. We're, we're a call we're like we're a college city we have to have <laughs> There has to be at least six. Uh, let me. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. No, I fell. <laughs> and yeah, let me. Uh, you go. I mean, work on that. You do seem to be given and Kelsey the eyes, but a, I wouldn't have said you fell. Help me pick up these tables. <laughs> Smooth. Okay. <laughs> no? Okay. Um, sorry. And Wyatt kind of gives her a lopsided grin and does start helping her writing the tables and moving the chairs back underneath. Just... At least these weren't occupied. Uh, joke? Yeah. No, <laughs> I didn't, apparently it's painfully obvious. You know, I'm trying to be on the down low and I'm not doing a good job. I guess it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's. There's a there's a quiet corner over there where you where we can go talk. Yeah. Can I get another windmill? Uh, Cal brings out another windmill. Uh, I. What's another country that is known for windmills? <laughs> Anyone who uses wind power? I bring out a Swedish windmill. <laughs> okay. <Sure. laughs> this is a different kind of flag on the sail. Yeah. Yeah, just oh um I can't Sweden. believe I'm doing this now. Windmill designs uh, <laughs> by never been region. There. But thanks. <laughs> Good lord. Is is he a bit odd? Yeah, 
Absolutely, hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> Fair. We have a fully. Have you met Joel? Yeah. Oh, I've definitely met Joel. Yeah. 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 Is one on every team? Uh Yeah, but I think Cal's a little different. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, yeah, you do have Peter, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have Peter. Um, yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Um, yeah. Corner. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Sarah. Just No, it's, it's fine. Like, this is... This is weird for both of us. It's been... It's been ten years. Really. It's... Almost... Nearly a decade since we. Um, so seems like things went well for you. Eight years. Eight years. Um, they've been difficult. It's I bounced around at first but um I found a house they had a couple of kids that were aging out and they I mean they they kept me um I don't know, I, I, I kept my head down. I worked hard in school. The dad was a doctor and he seemed to appreciate my my marks in, in biology and chemistry. And as long as I kept bringing them home, they just left me alone. Um... Yeah. And then they sent you on an exchange program? That's weird. Yeah. I mean, the school... Oh, you just signed up for this? Okay. All right. Yeah, like... I wanted to try and just... get out and, and see something on my own. <laughs> you know yeah I know yeah. yeah how did you if I wasn't at school or the library how did you end up at light speed like we're barely 18 <sighs> that's um that one's that one's interesting um, have you heard of Vite? Vitalogica? Like the, the chemical? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard the name. So, I applied for one of their internship programs. Mm hmm Um, I had the grades for it. Just... I wanted to be able to get some money in. I wanted to be able to get myself an apartment and just, you know, get some freedom. Mm. Maybe be able to get into college. Um, Dad found out. He wasn't very happy. Why? That's weird. Uh Apparently they're um, fraudsters, shucksters, oh, pseudo snake oil salesmen, pseudo science or whatever. Yep. <laughs> uh, alchemy was used once or twice. Alchemy. I was out of. 
Yeah, um, but he had friends who'd left the medical profession to go and work at Emigrant Tech. Um, got me an internship there. And I was able to start working on my pre-med work. And I got assigned to one of the teams doing grunt work, um, processing blood tests. Mm. It was all quite boring um, until you found out that you're one of five teams. Each ranger has a support team. Oh. And my job, as it were, is to make sure that Joel no, got... isn't suffering any adverse conditions from... You got stuck with Joel? <laughs> I got stuck with Joel. <laughs> uh... um, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I draw blood... I run blood panels. I get some credits towards my pre-med program. Um, they do some training. Kruger's terrifying. Yeah. Did you meet, meet him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not a fan. He has massive cop energy. Probably because he's a cop. Yeah, but... <laughs> he a hundred percent. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. He's um, probably fine. I just don't like cops. I love the idea of Sarah being adverse to SPD because they are space cops. <laughs> don't like these guys. I don't know what it is about them. <laughs> but yeah, that's. I mean, technically, I work for Emigrant, but I spend, I mean, my office, if you can call it an office, is in the Aquabase. Is it, is it a paid internship? It's kind of like they have a scholarship. Mm -hmm. They pay my tuition. Um... And they cover my um, dorm fees. How do you... And the... Uh, they have the, the commissary, I guess. Yeah. The mess hall. Yeah, the mess hall in Aquabase is all comped. Yeah, room and board, at least, I guess. Tuition, I mean... Yeah. Doesn't leave you a lot of money for, you know, hobbies or anything. They could they could do better. That's all. I'm, I'm just saying. Like I mean, a little stipe, pre med, you know. Yeah, but time for hobbies. Yeah. I suppose that there's probably there's there, there's a reason Sophie dropped pre med. So yeah. 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 But what about you? What I mean, <clears throat> I'm a little more uh, a little more complicated. Was, um, I got sent to like after after we got we got separated, they sent me to New Orleans and they were they were supposed to adopt. It was supposed to be like my, my new forever home. But I don't know, they just they never got around to it and they weren't they weren't good people. Like, I wasn't the only kid there, and like, I just... I ran away a bunch, because they were... Well, not good people. Um, like, they didn't do... They didn't really ever do anything to me. Like, physically, they were... Yelly. Like, uh... What is it? emotional abuse that's what the the 
prison therapist called it. You know, so yeah, I ran away a bunch, and I spent a lot of time on the uh, on the streets in Nolens, where I learned to play and sing mostly. I mean, you remember when we were kids, like music was a big thing, like, yeah. but yeah, I actually there were so I really came into it on the streets of New Orleans, but. Uh, I was there for like three years in and out of that house on the street back in before they uh, gave me back. They got tired of my sh my shit, I guess. And they gave me back to the state. And then another family in Nashville. And then that I don't know how much you uh, pay attention to reality TV, but two years, because they figured out I could sing and I could play, and I'm objectively attractive, or whatever, I don't know, and yeah, there's... I'm sure there's videos somewhere if you dig deep. Uh, I did America's Got Talent, all the all that garbage. They had me all over doing shit like that. Like we we I'm actually out here because they they moved us out here for they managed to get me like a record contract, but it was too much. Like, it was too much pressure, and they weren't, they, I mean, he hit me once, and I left. I was done. I, I, oh, Jesus. Yeah. So, I uh, spent some time out here on, in the streets of L.A., and ended up in uh, ended up in juvie because some some friends I had made we well we needed to eat so we robbed a store and there was an accident and I got a year. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I just... I mean... I think it's... I mean, it was... I didn't enjoy any of it. I mean, most parts of it. I learned a lot. I mean, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't have the scholarship that I have if I hadn't learned what I learned. If I hadn't met Kim and Tommy while I was in jail they, they seem were... to be important to angel grove yeah absolutely like i didn't know just how how much until recently really especially the uh the memorial and they were supposed to help me find you and then well, they died, you know. We, do we know? I mean, Kim. Well, we know alive, she's alive. Tommy, yeah, and I'm. Tommy if, too. If, if she's alive, I mean, they've got to be holding something over her. You think they've got him? I think so. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's. Yeah, I, I've had a, some traumatic experiences <laughs> in yeah. mand mandatory prison therapy. <laughs> Go ahead, everybody, 
and roll me a alertness perception check. Difficulty 18. <laughs> I'm not going to see this one. <laughs> All right, uh, alertness 18, in. huh? 18, 1 8. Oh, All right, so that's a now hell I yeah. am 19. So that's a hell yeah on, on the my floor. end. Uh, give me a sec to flip my coin. Let's see if I can get higher than just a 20. Ooh, <laughs> I like higher than just a 20. Yeah, you know, just just trying to trying to see if I can do better. Yeah, so that's a that's a 22. It's the maximum alertness check I can roll. 12. 19 with a crit on the d4. Hey yo, my man. Sarah, I'm back. Sarah the king is, is back in town, baby. While speaking to her brother for Q and Cal, who are sort of on the outskirts, they can see that the balance beam is quite busy. People are gathering around. Um, whilst they're not climbing on it, nobody's brave enough to try or foolhardy enough to try, or perhaps Ernie's warnings about not climbing up and breaking anything are being listened like to. They do notice one individual that seems to be standing out. Um, a woman see this one. a little bit taller um, slender build half her hair seems to be um, shaved off singed off um, and she's just walking one hand trailing across the balance beam With a crit, do I recognize her? You got a four, didn't you? On my d4, yeah. You did. Um, you're fairly certain this is Kimberly. Although, considering the last time you saw her, something's weird. So... Where, where do I where do I stand on this? Because like I didn't know them personally. I knew what they looked like, obviously. But yeah, like, you saw is her this on just the like television, a You recognize her, like you. Cal doesn't recognize her. Cal just notices this individual stands out. Q mm -hmm. recognizes her, and Sarah is currently just a little bit too. I'm mad about it. Stupid dice. Yep. Uh, Q. Uh, I was typing it whilst you were in the Back seat. Play. Um, it's not our fault. <laughs> you are not here. <laughs> it's not your fault you're not here either. Just for the record. <laughs> it's, n it's no one's you fault. You are not a meta pigeon. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, well... Uh, so Cal recognizes that there is an individual next to the balance beam and nothing else, right? She that's like that's the extent. Very much. Like, like there is everybody's kind of there. Um, this individual just really stands out. Everybody's kind of families, friends, you know, people hanging out together. This is a. 30 year old woman um late 20s possibly early mm -hmm. 30s who seems to have gone through some sort of traumatic ordeal ordeal recently just mesmerized by the balance beam well i'm cal is going to do what cal does best he's going to make a milkshake, milkshake and he's just going to let 
he's just gonna he's just gonna let uh let the fates guide him and as he finishes this milkshake he walks up to this stranger and uh and offers them what is just uh a model of a pterodactyl <laughs> can i just check the message that q sent does he send that in the yeah. general so sarah's communicator beeps at the message no. that comes no it's just no, alpha. I, he was sending it to alpha, alpha. directly <gasps> yeah oh. You might be on mute, Michael, or we didn't I hear you. I think that might have been for the best. Michael might be... Um... <laughs> Using the one F-bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yeah, we've got you now. now. Heard that sentence. Weird. I may have just been quiet. I said rude. You're rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did not curse you out. Good to know. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's been so four I've weeks without that. So I've handed this mystery so. woman a pink pterodactyl. She looks at this drink that she just holds in her hand and as far as you can see she is not blinking cal has gone back to work <laughs> <laughs> seeing yeah. as he is the only one in this juice bar working <laughs> ernie's hey, my shift is over <laughs> ernie's getting people to sign up for gym classes <laughs> That's Ernie's job. <laughs> um, Q receives a response from Alpha. Um, should I alert Kruger? Um... He'll reply, not yet, but monitor everything that you can about this location. So get all of the scans. Hugh is concerned that if he alerts Kruger, that he'll just come in like bad cop style and try and <laughs> capture or otherwise screw up an already screwed up Kimberly. Q is going to... I feel like doing this really slowly just to mess with Peter. And Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Q Boxer. Obviously is fairly convinced it's Kimberly. But he goes over and he is going to um, jump onto the beam and going to do the standard Kimberly tumble dismount. Do I see this? <laughs> I will say at this point, yeah, you've seen Q jump up on the beam um, and having sort of followed Q jump up, um, you do see a recognisable individual that is kind of on your mind considering you were just talking about her. Oh shit. <gasps> there it is. Why? You I don't know if you want me to roll or if we're just happy role playing it out. Uh, I'm happy role playing this out as you're not doing oh. anything other than just pretty pretty. Just acrobatic playing. Yep. Um so he does the dismount to land <laughs> kind of at the side of the beam, but kind of in front of the half singed head Kimberly. And just says Hi, you seem interested in the beam have you done it before are you thinking of picking it back up and sarah having recognized the individual that q is talking about what 
is your reaction? Wyatt, I'll I'll be back. Uh, is if is everything okay? Do we, do we need? I don't know. Should I call light speed? No. Tulsi's here. Yeah. yeah. I sure? I don't I, I it won't come to that. No, I just wanna I just wanna talk to her, and I'm just gonna get up and walk over. She watches as Q does the dismount. Um, sort of takes a half step backwards as he lands in front of her. But doesn't flee, doesn't look aggressive. Roll me alertness insight, difficulty 14. Um, same for Sarah. Not for Cal, who has returned back to work, slinging drinks. And I mean, if, if, if I'm ready to go if shit pops off, but like, until then, I'm I'm being paid to do work. You know, yeah. Mm. Critical charity is the fund. What twelve did you say? <laughs> yeah. Critical, but 12. Critical 12. Yeah. How's that? How's a critical 12 suit you? What was... If you're rolling a d12, that would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, shit today. Thanks, roll 20. Um, I, I just made 14, 11, and 3. Oh, okay. She... She doesn't look like she recognises you at all. Like, there is not anything in her eyes her stance her posture that suggests she knows who you are that she's ready for throwing fists or shooting arrows um in fact she looks lost confused and kind of looking into her kind of blank state just goes uh you're okay ma'am can can we help would you i i think i think i used to come here and do that you think Yeah, it looks it looks really familiar. Well, I mean, feel free to hop up. I can walk you through it. I can spot you if you want to give it a go. See if it jogs any memories. Yeah, I'll spot the uh, the other side. Just to be safe. they they say it's like falling off a bicycle, but at least there's less pedals to get snagged on. It's um, it's a, it's a bit move the tables higher, though. It looks that way from the bottom. It's actually not so bad once you get up there. And you kind of gives Sarah a look. She climbs up with, um, P uh, sorry, with Q and Sarah's encouragement. Um, sorry, uh, something I just noticed something on roll 20 that I've never noticed before. Um, and a button to kill all players, no, um, <laughs> just the, the TPK button is like, I'm done with this campaign. <laughs> Slams no, big I've red TPK button. For the first time ever, um, I've noticed that the box surrounding all of um, your dice 
uh, J is red. Um, <laughs> red bias? Yes. What? Yeah. Presumably because it's the colour Not... you've got um, selected as Not your colour. On my chat colour, yeah, yeah, possibly. But it just threw me because it is on one of my roll twenties and not on the other. Uh, yeah, yours, I was going to say, yellow. yeah, cows is yellow. Oh, mine are yellow. Yeah, yeah Again, mine's red on my screen, but not on the yeah. chat channel. Yeah, yeah, which what is what threw me. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry everybody. <laughs> I want to say that. Oh uh, well, I'd never noticed that in. Uh, roll 20 either and i've been used well used it for a couple of years so. yes the more you know ladies and gentlemen that's, roll that's 20 really cool. giveth roll 20 taketh away i like that i like that a lot she Weird. looks uncomfortable moving slowly um you can see that the skill is there as noticed by that critical 1d6 um, but the willingness to try, the enthusiasm, the energy just isn't. She's just so unsure of herself that she's just second guessing every movement, despite the fact that her feet are exactly where they need to be there's no point where she wavers or even slightly loses her balance she's just moving backwards and forwards along the beam no problems you would like to seeing that she's got all the poise and the positioning and everything right and it's just her confidence that is lacking he would like to use his um Teacher. Uh, teachery artisan influency thing to try and get her to try the first thing which is just to turn and face the other way just a simple half half pirouette half turn i wish i knew the roll 20 codes uh but i don't so apologies uh, so that's actually going to be uh, a seven plus a. You you definitely look like you've been up there before. Six. And um, I say, using my teacher influence, it says when a ranger must make a non-combat skill check, I may lend assistance to give them an edge. So can my lending her assistance by encouraging her along, whilst also. Kind of supporting with a hand, you know, holding a hand while she's on it, that that would give her an edge in that role. Uh, yeah, that's the seven was the edge. All oh, right, cool. <laughs> oh dear, she just how did she do? Was it a seven uh, and a she six? Passed. Yep, um, she does. She seems a little bit more confident than she did a moment before. She does do that half hop upwards. Um, spinning in place turning in place and lands again perfectly feet perfectly positioned there's no wobble, no waver she absolutely just nails it but she has a look of horror on her face as she stares down at the floor like she's going to fall Are you okay? at any moment I just you're, you're all right. You... I just keep I keep seeing myself falling from a great height and explosions and strange strange creatures with swords and mm -hmm. fire and Well, maybe we hop down for a moment. And Q supports her as she, if she decides to hop off the beam. She, she more climbs down. She sort of climbs down to her sort of 
until her butt's on the beam and her feet are yeah. flat and then twists and stands down. Um, and as she stands back upright, she takes a big... <gasps> I think... I think I'm scared of heights. Really? At least, at least falling. I mean, oh. everyone's, everyone's scared of falling. Just the secret is not to fall, or I to. I have a lot of dreams of falling. Do you know your name? I think it's it's K. K. Yeah. All right. Are are you hungry? You want to take a seat? Um. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I feel like I haven't eaten in months. Oh. Cow special. Uh, flying in, uh, <laughs> Cal delivers, I don't know, what should this one be? A UFO. Just like a classic a green little Martians in the cockpit, circular, pancake-shaped disc. This is the drink. <laughs> UFO. <laughs> Eat um, some food too, please? Oh yeah, the food is normal. Cal delivers some delicious food. Whatever you want on our menu. <laughs> I... Cal is a good cook. I don't... I don't think I've got any money. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Just consider me paying it forward for someone else who's done good... done me a good turn. Thank you. Yeah. Um... Can... can I have a cheeseburger and fries? Delivered right away. Fresh. And she tears into it. Like, there's there's no pretense at civility. There's no knife and fork cutting up the burger, or she just grabs a hold of it and just... I'm going to, under the table, text Q. Do they not feed her on the moon? Just typing a key, we'll type a quick message to Sarah. <laughs> um, his message was going to say something along the lines of, do you think we can get her back to base, comma, therapy, question mark? Maybe. And that <laughs> is where we are going to have a short break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with you in about 10 minutes. I can't believe you've done this, um, Michael. Lovely people in the chat. <laughs> Woo! Um, see you soon.
Hello, we are back. What's um, up? Just gotta catch up on this chat that I've missed. <laughs> nothing blew up. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, yeah. Gave no, no. Uh, hopefully our lovely black and red rangers a moment to consider their plans um, going forward. <laughs> consider plans? Who do you think you're talking to? The serial wingers that we are. <laughs> As Kimberly is just continuing to tear into this burger, she's like inhaling it at this point. Um, she grabs a hold of um, a ketchup bottle and squirts some of it onto the plate. And once the burger is gone, she just grabs um, a small handful of fries and just begins sort of wiping them not even dipping them just like wiping them in the ketchup and just almost by like the half handful this is a woman who is absolutely starving and is almost looks terrified that someone's going to take the food away before she can finish it I don't want to interrupt your uh, your feast here, but mm -hmm. how did you find your way here? I I don't know. I was I just I just I was walking down the street and. I could smell the food and hear the people talking. Um, and I'll be honest, it just looked really familiar. Okay. I could see the people gathered around the the balance the balance beam. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I could see him gathered around that and just. So you were. I just felt like I needed to be in here. Where did you come from? Do you know? On the street, out Before that. and to the right. Like, does your memory start on the street? Where were you somewhere before that? In... There's, there's bits. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I can remember falling. Lots, lots of falling. Mm hmm. Um, explosions and, and fighting. But there must have been dreams. Mm -hmm. But no, I just, I just, I remember walking down the street and. I don't understand. I... <clears throat> I have a friend who can probably help you figure out what you're missing. If you're open to it. She... sort of... puts her hands around the plate and leans backwards you finished eating and there's more food there too like we got a whole cupboard um, i don't even know what <laughs> like but if you... i appreciate your help but this this place feels safe and familiar i understand but I... yeah i think this other place will too Make me a persuasion check. 
Could I assist? Please, God. You can assist. Which? <laughs> I'm not specialized, so you get an edge with this, Michael. I mean, I I like edge. <laughs> huh? Okay, sure. Uh, 16. So I rolled two 15s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Pretty sure, I, pretty sure I got it. I got a D two in that. So, yeah, D two persuasion. Yeah. You see where she tensed up when you started talking about taking her somewhere. Her shoulders sort of relax, and the darting look. Her eyes were thrown towards the doorway. Her eyes kind of shift back towards you and she's just like, Are you sure? Like, I'm, I'm very sure. No pressure, though. But I think we can help you. I know we can help you. I'm scared. I know. The decision is yours. Okay. All right. Finish your... your fries and... We will. She dips the last handful of fries in her milkshake. Gah! Um, Heathenous. So scoops out a little chunk of have, it. Have you never done that? I have. I hate it. <laughs> Salty fries and sweet milkshake is. Controversy. <laughs> um, you fry dippers are weird. Throws them back. Downs the last of her drink and glances at the plate once more before standing up and just okay before I change my mind all right let's go uh, let's... can we go to that one corner of the juice bar that's always unoccupied and available yeah. for teleporting yep yeah. and we'll uh sweep up Cal on the way because she's gonna want more food mm-hmm <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm prepare you now. This this will be a little a little jarring, but it's perfectly safe. This is just how we get there. Alpha. Four to beam up. As the energy that familiar feeling washes through your body. Um, the beam of light begins to teleport you upwards. Her form begins to shift to pink. And as it does, there is just a crackle of what appears to be electricity there's no power source that you can see she's not carrying anything but much like the barrier that sprung up around Goldar her form is suddenly encased in light that disrupts the teleportation and she screams as you are teleported away the last thing you see is Kim's face contorting 
in pain. No. And then her helmet, that of the Ranger Slayer, forming over it before she teleports somewhere else. As soon as, as soon as we land, Sarah punches the nearest console. You just smash, just literally fist driven through Eltarian technology that is, you know, um, millennia old. We had her. We, we fucking had her. Had who? What? <laughs> what do you mean? No, that that lady Kim. you were with? That was Kim. Really? Yeah. Huh. E. That's not. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alpha, what? What can you tell us? What happened? What? Why did she shift, and why is she not here? Rangers, after the fight with Goldar, I've been running some scans myself and some computer models. It would appear that somehow Rito has managed to get a hold of technology or some sort of magic that disrupts teleportation signals, much like the technology that Emigrant Tech was using around the volcano that you had to walk through. It's what Goldar used to trap Peter. And it seems that Rito or Rita or Lord Zed foresaw some attempt to capture Kimberly and place the same sort of protection around her. Well, that's not all bad. She... That tells us that whatever they've done to her, they fear can be undone. If they thought it was a one-way process, they wouldn't feel the need to protect her from coming how with did, us. How did she find herself like that? Like, how did that happen in the first place? There... Maybe there. It's not the spell or whatever that, that they've done is either not as strong as they thought or she's breaking through. We, we were so close. Alpha, can we tell... Sorry, go ahead. Return to the moon. Can we tell... <laughs> Can we tell which came first, the emigrant tech or what Rito has? Are they related? Does Rito have what emigrant had, or is it just a coincidence that it's a similar effect? They seem to be more magical in nature. It seems to be the same principle, the same concept. Mm. Can you get around it? But lacking the technology, they seem to have replicated it magically. Okay, so what do we know about anti-magic protection? Is that a thing? I think we should call up Lightspeed for that. I don't know. Demon, demons and magic seem to go hand in hand more than magic and space. Yeah. I hope that logic holds. I mean, it sounds reasonable. Do you think you'd be able to get around the shielding? We were able to get through Goldar's shielding with time. Mm -hmm. Time. The issue seems to uh, be that is... they appear to be cycling through different protections. All right. So, if this opportunity presents itself again, we're going to have to get her here the old-fashioned way. 
that does seem to be the case, yes. Can anyone else not hear Michael, or is it just me? I don't know if he's... Oh, wait. He just, like, moved real fast, and now he's, like, moving in slow motion. I think he got some mental freeze. I think we're just having a slight audio problem. Yes, I am also. Everything's slightly robotical. Everything? So even me? Yeah, I think it might be a Discord thing. Well, I can hear everything just fine, so it's probably... <laughs> Maybe it's, it's a probably. UK thing. <laughs> and Michael might be dead. Michael, if you can hear us, tap, type in Twitch chat that you're okay. Because we cannot hear you.
really wish we had some Power Rangers. <laughs> okay. Apologies, everybody. Um, Cal was the... Uh, well, Panic was the only one whose audio didn't <laughs> yeah. fall apart. I mean, look, if you wanted to, I could have just hosted a talk show for a minute, but... <laughs> I'm getting funnier. Now is not the uh, time. <laughs> but we are back, and hopefully, everything is fine. Now let the record show that Kimberly was forcibly morphed, and the moon stole her. Moon napped. The moon did, in fact, steal her. <laughs> I can't believe. That now that I've learned how to be an astronaut in the ocean, I have to go be an astronaut for real. That's how this season is going to turn out. Mm. We're all going to go to the moon and we're going to beat Rito up <laughs> in his house. <laughs> Which makes it makes us sound a lot worse than we are. Yeah. We're it's going like, to fill the, the rocket. We're going to get in the rocket. We're going to go to the moon. We're going to shrink the moon. <laughs> what did... What... Then we sit on the toilet, right? That's the next part of that plan? Then I sit on the toilet. <laughs> I love... They're just giving away... I mean, guys, guys, you're giving away <laughs> the ending of season one to the chat. Season one ends with everyone on the toilet. Yep. Sorry. Congratulations. Sorry to spoil it, everyone, but it turns After out you weren't watching a Power Ranger stream. We've just been role-playing Despicable Me the entire time. It's, uh... It's just... That's just how it is. And, and Steve Carell's ambiguous accent. <laughs> yeah. Tonight we steal one moon! Where is he from? Someone answer that question. <laughs> Everywhere. I don't care who tell who answers it, whether they're in Twitch chat or in this call. Someone answer me the question of where does Gru come from? Anyway, Power Rangers, sorry. Well, Sometimes I get derailed. So, that didn't pan out the way we would have hoped. But, progress. We got through. We got Apparently, through once, we get through again. Do you think it's a trap? I... like, if she is under control of the people on the moon, right? Rito, mm. Revolto, and their whole sinister crew are, are bad guys. Mm. If, she's in con if she's being controlled by them... What reason would they have to send her to Earth with the ability to demorph? Was it a well, mistake? Like what happened? Like was what was going on, and why? <laughs> if it were a trap, you think they would have let her get here, and then Wrong she would have yeah. yeah. popped off. I yeah. won't lie. When you said that there were normal people, normal-looking people who were actually putties, I was kind of expecting her to putty when we got back here but one putty and three of us is not really much of a matchup but you say that wait <laughs> wait for the day yeah. <laughs> um but if i mean if they're putting putties into human circulation then they've got some kind of infiltration or monitoring something going mm -hmm. so why not well, either they let her roam about free will, or she was down here, and she either chose or something happened, and she remembered instinctively how to demorph. Either way, now that... Or we, maybe... We, do we know for a fact that she was sent back to the moon? Alpha's confirmed, yeah. All right. yeah. So either way, I do now that they're aware because we did send her right back to them. I don't know if we're going to be seeing her in that form for a while. Can we might. You, Al can you be morphed indefinitely? Does it? Will it just go away after a while? Like if maybe that's what happened. What she timed yeah. out. Yeah. In can you just stay more forever? There's nothing that would I mean, prevent you. I mean, aside from Peter's uh, grid, like, grid yeah. blocker. 
but he's I'm making. Yeah. He has Peter's of... grid water. Yeah, he's he's locked up in a lab designing something that's supposed to interrupt the morphing grid to try, you know, keep the Titanium Ranger and Kim and any other evil Power Rangers that might happen to be lurking without power, you know? Easier to deal with if they are not super poweredly enhanced beating us to into the ground. <laughs> They're like grid scissors? Kinda, yeah. Forcibly I guess. I don't know what name he's work he's like workshopping. The MGD I j I I'm seeing other Michael type in the in the Twitch chat and I'm just imagining that's Peter screaming from the other room. <laughs> from the lab. Yeah. <laughs> the MGD <laughs> Morphing Grid Disruptor. That's what he's calling it. Ah, uh, okay. Yep! Because <laughs> he screams. That's a thing we'll have in about a week and a half to be ready. Hopefully, hopefully that works out, you know? Because although now, now that we we now have to work on a magic disruptor, which is a bananas sentence that I just said. <laughs> uh, our friends at Lightspeed might be able to help with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's can can we call them up now? Actually, <laughs> can we? Yeah, can we, we better. Be like, hey, yeah, we, we we left Kelsey at the juice bar. Yeah, I was <laughs> waiting to see how long that would take to realize. Back to the sports desk, Infernia and Cal. <laughs> this is not looking good for our, for our lead player here, Sarah. Kelsey just first inviting out of the her. It's just like first inviting her out somewhere, and then agreeing to go somewhere, and then vanishing, leaving her stranded in a juice bar. It's not looking stranded good. at the juice bar. Sorry, it's not looking well, good we... for her, folks. Yeah. I mean, you want to take care of that alpha uh, interfacing with like Mitchell and Fairweather about that. I will. We should probably get back. I'll speak to Kruger. Um, I that, find it that, much that, easier yeah, to about. speak to him and have him speak to the others. We have a. You're the only one I think who have ever said that, Alpha. <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. I talked to. I saw Kruger for a little bit. He seemed like an all right dude. Just no squeaky toys. It's not good. <laughs> Would that be considered racist? <laughs> Species is quite possibly. Um, All right, let's get back. Make sure everything's okay. The juice bar. Yeah, you two have jobs to do. Uh, I mean, my shift is over. Yeah, and honestly, they don't really—they don't really monitor my hours. They just kind of pay me in bulk. I just show up, and they're grateful for it because you know. Oh, apparently, I draw in customers. I don't really understand it, but apparently, when I'm there, customers customers like surge. <laughs> I'm happy. The, I'm happy the business is doing well. You know, it's a staple of this community. But, I mean, I probably need to talk to Ernie about classes again. Was that right? Is that what he wanted? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wants to start doing really? gym stuff at the. Uh, yeah. Oh, like the, the old days? Yeah, yeah martial arts exactly. classes. Exactly. Stuff. Yeah. Figure we'll get Sophie on the gymnastic stuff when she's back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be cheaper for Ernie not to have to replace all the tables. Oh, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> We're going back. <laughs> oh, and then Q remembers to check his phone to see what the footage was like. Sends it to the group chat. Out of curiosity, just the uh, five of you, or the uh, the, the light speed range? No, no. I intended just the five of us, like our team, the Thunder team. You. Tell it just said something underneath it, like um. Uh, training with Sophie at some point soon? Question mark. <laughs> You teleport back to the juice bar um, in that lovely 
out of the way corner um that as you said just somehow nobody's ever near nobody's watching <laughs> it just is um just in time to see kelsey leave the back room where she has a printout of three um business addresses for different karaoke bars she pauses for a moment just looking round and then <gasps> sarah uh, i found yeah yeah places. we're back um back did have you been getting up to trouble back here we are back here yeah <laughs> did you not we, uh, invite me we had to get up to trouble it was we had to be very careful it was i can be careful kim well it was i'm not all explosions kim wants your way. i know i know kim somehow found herself here with some sort of amnesia and we managed to convince her to come to the command center but there's a teleport block and she got moon napped again oh like goldar and pizza yeah kind of um do do you want to do this another night maybe no no i think i need it yeah i need, I need something yeah I need something that is supposedly fun, yeah. Well, I've got two locations in um, Angel Grove and one in Mariner Bay. We can Ooh. get everybody together that's not already busy. Um, just... Yeah. Have a bit of a an evening. Yeah. Sounds sounds good. Yeah. Which would you prefer? Uh let me look at the printout. <laughs> she hands you this printout. One of them is close to the uh the college campus. One is closer to the mall. And the one in Mariner Bay seems to be right smack bang next door to the uh, aquarium and is actually like mermaid themed. Oh, we're going to Mariner Bay, obviously. Look, <laughs> mermaid themed. Let's go do this. Uh, I, I got to see that. Put that one on as a. Uh. Trip, but, um, Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> mermaid themed it is, Me. I guess. Um, okay. I mean, it'll be it'll be an experience if nothing else. She sends out a message via the communicators to everybody yeah. on the Lightspeed and uh, Thunder team. Um just to see who's about, who wants to enjoy some karaoke, have a bit of a fun time, make a fool of themselves. Oh, sweet white. Just drag him along. Yep. Like, we're doing karaoke. Kari um, <laughs> I don't sing. Hand on more. shoulder, iron grip. <laughs> no, I, I, Can... I, well, um, okay, I'm Doing karaoke. You're coming. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. You can't be terrible. I remember you were you were at least proficient when we were kids. That was a long time ago, Sarah. Um, I not sung since we sung together last. Well, we'll have to do it again. <sighs> okay. Um, we're hanging out. That's all there is to it. 
Who is coming to the karaoke? Cal? No. <laughs> Funny that. Q. Yeah, I think Q would finish up chatting to Ernie about setting things up. He'll probably yeah, arrange a couple of introductory classes, maybe. Um, like, get some vague loosey-goosey times to do stuff, work out what equipment they've got there uh, and what they might need to get from the dojo. Uh, yeah, then he's got nothing better to do today. So, yeah, why not? Karaoke. Um, I'm going to say that Peter is too busy with his MGD and his new secret project. Um, oh, no. There's no lasers. Is it laser? There's no lasers. See, I knew. I knew. Um, Dana and Sophie are out, but Joel, um, Carter, and I'm going to say, uh, yeah, Joel, Carter, Dad? and Chad, yeah, all three of them uh, send back that they're going to come along. Um, and once you gone, they look over at Kelsey again. I guess we'll find out if Carter knows how to have fun. Um, he does not. Um, is it entertaining to watch him not have fun? Yes. Uh, <laughs> he, All right, let's go. He is awkward. Um, awkward. I mean, awkward. <laughs> a little bit awkward, but it's fun for everybody else. Should we, um, should we drag Cal and just watch the awkward face? I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, Cal, we're going to karaoke. You, you're, you can't not come. Range bonding. <laughs> Cal like turns to Inferno. He's like, so. Mandatory. I know you're not... in my. I know you're in my head, but like, can you like mm -hmm. set off a volcano or something so that um, I have a reason not to do this? Unfortunately, in this form, my powers are greatly diminished. I could perhaps torch some marshmallows, s'mores. I think you call them. Alrighty then. <laughs> Cal has to come with. You arrive at the um, Mariner Bay Mermaid Karaoke Bar to find that they take the theme rather seriously. There are a number of small sort of like uh, hot tubs set up where people can just chill out. Um, there are people in costumes. There are tanks of water where mermaids are singing and uh, uh, swimming around. You're fairly certain they are just people in costume. But they look really, really good. And, in fact, I would like you all to roll me an alertness oh. check and I'm not going to give Boy, you a difficulty okay. I just want to know the highest alertness check are they all mermaids or are there some mermen there as well there are some mermen there as well yeah Merven. Um, 16 oh my I don't beat that 20 this is where I roll high <laughs> um <laughs> On the mermaid check. Sarah, you are rather convinced that as you watch these mermaids and mermen, merpeople, and watch, and watch, they don't seem to be coming up for air. Those ones have gills. <laughs> like, but it must be a Kelsey, trick. Like, 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 
They can't. Can, can, they don't. They're not. No, no, it's it's a Cal- trick. It's got to be, you know, like it's part of the costume, not, or you know, just it could just be like, and there may not actually be anyone there. It could just be like a screen, like exactly. with video footage. Yeah. Mermaids, mer people, they don't exist. Merfolk, yeah, merfolk. Unrelated to the current topic of conversation, do you guys remember Power Rangers Mystic Force? <laughs> Not there watched is it. Also, a mermaid in Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Damn, really? Oh I'm, shit! Yeah. They've, been, getting they've been they've been they've been teasing flash. that from, since the beginning. <laughs> there is a mermaid in Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes, but it's all I'm good. That can't be a mermaid. That's just you know, it's not a mermaid. You know, that tank. Like. You ever just forget there's... <laughs> Don't tap the glass. <laughs> Don't tap the glass, it's rude. Alright, it's not a video. Could be. Could still be a video. <laughs> Listen, buddy. <laughs> Look, I was dragged here against my will. <laughs> no. I'm here for it. I don't... so confused hey chad you're the you're the water guy and the mer person who you've been watching for a good four or five minutes at this point swims upwards and out of sight as you gesture in the um scuba gesture <laughs> for <laughs> surface did I just agree to something? No, I just <laughs> told the merfolk to surface, so it's mm-hmm. surfaced, um, but out of sight. And somebody, uh, one of the individuals working there, comes wandering over, and she's just like, "Hi, um, we have costumes. If you'd like to get dressed up, we've got lovely." Um, we have some lovely fake tails you can put on and some lovely wigs with some lovely shiny bits in the hair and a starfish. Q, Q puts his hands on the back of Cal's shoulders and moves him forwards and just says, our friend here loves Iron. dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's thumb right in the back muscle so that he moves forwards. <laughs> I don't know why I ever missed you. <laughs> <laughs> because we've not rolled initiative yet. Then you'll remember. <laughs> Cal, think, Cal thinks to himself, and he looks at the literal volcano in his head. He's like, sorry, not not much of a water guy. <laughs> had, a, had a bad experience with it a couple days ago. Yesterday. It was yesterday. <laughs> it was yesterday, yeah. It's been a. Very and all your troubles seem so far away. Fought. I fought a shark. As... I'm. I'm saying that to the woman who is trying to put me in a cost. I had to. I had to fight a shark. It was not pleasant. You, I did not enjoy did it. Did you punch it on the nose? I've heard that works. Yes. I've never. Multiple times, in fact. Oh. It was a. It was a persistent shark. Did it work? It clearly didn't it like the. Eventually. Eventually. It took a while. It took Were a while. Bleeding. I hear they. They're attracted to blood. Uh, no, I in fact was not hurt at all. Oh. They were, they tried. Foundering they were not good. At, at... No, not even that. They just, it just couldn't hit me. It was, it missed. Oh. It was real bad. Real bad at being a shark. <laughs> really strange. Um, I wasn't aware sharks. I know it was. It was a attacked people. It was a harrowing experience. <laughs> I can imagine. More um, important question: How your People on the tank stay in so long. Oxygenated water. <laughs> oh, the the divers, free divers. Oh, they're very good at what they do. Um, so talented at holding their breath for long periods of time. Um, they swim like fish. Yeah. 
insight check. Go ahead and roll me an insight check. Um, Just him or? <laughs> uh, anybody. Uh, alertness, insight, difficulty 14. 17. Was a crit on the four again? 16. Cal? I rolled a 16. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> you... I mean, she's not lying. They do seem to be possibly holding their breath. Like you didn't see them opening their mouths. And they do seem to be swimming really, really well. But... You also get the impression she's not telling the whole truth. And she chuckles for a moment and just says, Oh, they could be mermaids, but, you know, that's the whole theme. The whole theme. At this point, light speed is here, right? Like, it's not just Kelsey. Light yep. speed is. is gonna, uh, Cal is going to turn to light speed. Let's go. And just to. Just to be clear, you guys, did you guys know the demons were coming when the demons started coming? Because and that. We didn't know when they were coming. You didn't know when, but you knew they but were coming. Captain Mitchell knew they were coming. Okay. Okay. Cal, yeah. Cal makes. Do you think we're going to be attacked by more people? I don't think we're going to be attacked by them. I just think they folk. exist now. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm like eighty percent certain. Chad, there, there are more people in that tank. Kind of. I mean, Cal makes like a mental note. Apparently, Mariner Bay is the magic place. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of magical things here. Portion of the Earth is water. And we haven't explored all of it. Yeah. I mean, but water's your thing, there, Chad. You want, you want to slap on a tail and go go do some investigating? I I'm not sure about the tail, but I'd go for a swim. Can I? I'll give you five dollars. Can dollars. this man just go for a swim? Do we? It's have five dollars just to go $5. for a swim. Ten dollars. Do I hear 10? Wait a minute, why are we bidding? <laughs> to make oh. him put on a tail. No, that's not... I don't think he agreed to that. <laughs> Charity. So wait, are you bidding money for you just being allowed to go into the into the tank and swim? I mean, I'll get in oh, the wait, tank well, if they say the... yes, but if we can raise some money for charity or something in the meantime... We're allowed to swim. You know what? Like, That's a good hustle. I respect it. Yeah. Uh, how much is anyone willing to bid to get this man in that tank? <laughs> All proceeds will be donated to some chair. What's a All what's right. a charity? Save the sharks. Okay. Yeah, say to a save to a save the sharks organization. You I'm gonna, I'm gonna not... like, Hey, we got light speed in here. Who wants to see blue light speed wear a mermaid tail? <laughs> you throw your bids. You hear a voice, um, Sarah. It sounds very familiar, but slightly off. Like she's trying to disguise herself. But you're fairly certain it's Kelsey who just goes, $10,000. What do they pay you people? <laughs> We got ten grand. Anyone can anyone beat ten grand? Ten grand. Save the sharks organization. Everybody else is just like, uh, like, even if we came together, we don't have ten grand. Like, we work for All the right. government. We get we get government money. All right. Uh, now I have a solid grasp on it's Chad, right? Chad's the blue one. Yep. Yep. Solid iron, like, fist locked on Chad. So, 10 grand. Right, Chad, that is 10 Chad grand is from it. the lady. Chad is up for it. All right. Um, 
but he we're, we're putting you in a tail chat we're putting he, you in a tail chat i'm sorry but it was 10 um, grand <laughs> he's already got a um like a surfer's top on um mm-hmm. like rash, <laughs> you know like the rash proof rash guard um, yeah, yeah, yeah rash yeah. guard yeah. Um, I imagine Chad like rips off his normal clothes, like they're tearaway clothes, and yep. he's just and wearing he's a like wetsuit. Shorts, yep. He pulls the the tail on, um, and with some help, climbs up into the tank. And now don't forget your mission: raise money for charity. Find Success. Out. I've raised ten thousand dollars. Also, aren't they really mermaids? That... Wait, mer- oh, mermaids, mermaids. Right. All right. Now push him in. <laughs> <laughs> Blue light speed ranger, everybody. <laughs> Instead of splashing, just turns it into a graceful dive. There's there's barely a ripple as he just. This guy can't can't even push him into a pool entertainingly. To the water. And as he begins swimming, there just seems to be like a mad rush of the mer people who don't scatter so much as come swimming alongside him almost as if to see it turns out they're carnivorous and he gets eaten yeah (laughs) it's Um, about to get it's about to get real gruesome if they're how how is he doing this he's moving quite quickly he's swimming away without any difficulty interesting the tail he's maneuvering the tail perfectly yeah (laughs) I go over to Kelsey. Do you actually have ten grand? Um. Yeah. Right. It's not like all of your money, is it? <laughs> no. All right. Shit. Cool. <laughs> I mean, it got him in that tail, and I am to be thoroughly fair, entertained. He'd have done it for free. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But now we have ten grand to give to a Save the Sharks organization. Yeah, that's just. Yeah. Like I mean, he's icing weird, on the cake. Weird. So you know, <laughs> mission accomplished. I'm gonna go get in contact with them. Have fun with the karaoke. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and as Sarah what? clamps down on one side, Kelsey clamps down on the other. Um, I will make you sing, <laughs> but you have to watch. I've been um, foiled again. <laughs> no, I've I've actually put um, Cow down for the first song. Oh, you. Oh. All right, so Matt, I have a question. <laughs> yep. Matt, I got a, I got a question. Hold on, let me let me check let me check something real fast. I'm scared. <laughs> you shouldn't be. I'm just I'm just deciding whether or not I actually want to go through with something. Only <laughs> <laughs> the fire alarm. <laughs> no, because like look, here's the thing, right? I Cal has no points in performance at all. So if I leave this up to a roll, I'm probably screwed. It's but, Yeah. <laughs> but I'm thinking to myself. Is it really worth pitching the idea of me actually performing something musical on this six viewer Twitch stream to avoid to having to roll a performance the... check? It has to be mermaid themed, though. It has to be. I don't know that many mermaid themed songs. Like, there's me obviously the soundtrack for The Little one. Mermaid. The... Have you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is The Little Mermaid not casual watching in the UK? <laughs> Yeah, of course I know at least one. <laughs> Everyone should know at least one. What's funny here <laughs> is like... that Anne has returned asking what she has missed. So, Mer- panic. <laughs> As Cal, <laughs> show Anne what she hasn't missed. Wait, w- show Anne what she hasn't missed? Nope. Give us give us a ten seconds. Ten Rundown. seconds. <laughs> Go on. I mean, look, I don't, I don't know if you're asking me to. Like, we gotta, I'm, we gotta asking, clear these I'm bits before. With you. I'm agreeing with you. Are you asking me to? Are you asking me to sing for ten seconds or go yes. or give a ten second recap of everything that just happened? Sing for ten seconds. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, did you, <laughs> um, I thought you were volunteering. My apologies. No, I was, I was, 
I was debating, because here's the okay. thing, right? I, the human being, cannot sing. I no, can rap. Play. That is something I can do. I Very well, in sing. fact. But... <laughs> um, in that case... But I'll, I'll make the performance check. <laughs> we roll the performance check. Um, we have headed to Marina Bay, Talk. where they have Doesn't found matter. a yeah. mermaid-themed karaoke bar. In said mermaid-themed karaoke bar, they have found some lovely swimmers. Oh, who are definitely I was just mermaids? Explain while Cal was rolling. That's cocked. Oh, seventeen. Seventeen with snag. Dang. Nice. Yeah, that's I rolled a seventeen and an eighteen. Hell yeah! What song did you, Kelsey put in? Yeah, what sing? Uh, kiss the girl. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, that that may or may not be telling. <laughs> ha! <laughs> my best, my best Sebastian impression, or Cal's rather. What am I talking about? Cal hasn't seen the Little Mermaid. <laughs> what am I saying? Cal doesn't know what Disney is. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. seventeen. Eat your heart out. <laughs> Cal's song is very well received. There's a lot of laughing, a lot of cheering, clapping. Um, Kelsey in particular is up on her feet and she's like, woo! All right, Infernia, we're back. It's been a rough season for Sarah thus far, but we're hoping that with these nudges from the assistant player, Cal, myself... Uh, we can get her back in the game this season. Uh, is Q wow. going to sing a song? Um, yeah, Q wouldn't be averse to singing a song. He'd rather dance, but he doesn't mind singing instead. Yes, I did. I did roll a 17 with Snag. I rolled a 17 and an 18. Cal is blessed <laughs> when it comes to... Not pointless roles, but not life or death roles. Mm -hmm. What song will Q sing and possibly dance to? Um, <clears throat> it'll be part of your world. All right, so um, we are, in fact, just running through all of the Little Mermaid soundtracks. So, yeah. Because how many other mermaid-themed things are there? I mean, I don't know SpongeBob but, well enough. Granted, to go there. probably a lot. But none of the artists I listen to have produced a mermaid track, so yeah. I'm stuck with yeah. the one that everyone knows, I, Disney. I did not prepare for mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> well, so now hold on. If I'm dancing, go ahead. I gain an edge uh, where dance comes into play, and I have a d6 in it. So I'm going to use my new Christmas dice, <laughs> which will probably forsake me. Um, anyway, no, let's see what happens. Do I want to spend a story point and roll with special specialization? I mean, it's free. Might as well. There's only one story. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Spent so far, and that was just to mess. So I'm going to also use my new weird shaped D4 that is also Christmas themed, and I don't. Have, well, I'll use my standard substitute D2. Whoops! I'll try and actually get it in the tower. Oh, 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 this is good. I'll just hold on to those so they don't change. So that is a 22. I know. It's yes, so 22. Watched. Dang. Okay. 22. The whole performance has people stopping what they're doing, including some of the staff who just... Um. Wow, that's um. I've never heard it sung like that before. Um. <laughs> that's quite hauntingly beautiful. Um. I. All right. So I've been Thank looking at you. Just really awkwardly at... shuffles off and sits back down in a corner and busies himself in a drink. I've been looking at you. 
I've been like on YouTube looking at mermaid songs. And I'm really mad because there is a mermaid song I know that has nothing to do with the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Heartbreak Mermaid from from ya- from the Yakuza series. Oh. Uh, listen, listen, my friend who is who is currently watching the vods. When you catch up to this and you see this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot. You have failed. He's gonna be mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, uh, who gets right. dragged onto the stage by none other than Kelsey herself. Oh, all right. Are what we time for a duet? Right. Are you duetting? Are you oh, <laughs> um, I was not prepared. Poor unfortunate souls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. Keeping it at least vaguely on theme, we're going to do Sirens by Cheryl Lloyd. Ooh. This would be the part in the edit where you edit in that song. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I actually had a vaguely mermaid themed song on my list. <laughs> oh, I need to roll, don't I? That was yeah, you can't just say you do doing. a thing. I was waiting. I forgot. I got all caught up in some shit. I get edge and specialization. (laughs) And I will say an upshift from Kelsey helping. Oh. Alright. Hit me. I really desperately want this to fail. I want the opposite. I want this to be. Sarah falls off the table, falls off the stage, and headbutts the table. God damn it, Sarah. No. Yeah, what if this was an acrobatics check instead of a performance one? <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, 21. There we go. Not quite as good as Q. <laughs> oh, 21. 21 is good. Yeah. Um, and if you're asking if you can jump in to join us in a stream, you can jump in, join us. Just everybody give me a second while I fix the cameras. Um. Joining us live from, I think, what was supposed to be a charity stream event. <laughs> but the stream is broken. Which is apparently broken. Rest in peace, charity. We hardly knew ye. But we do have 10 grand to give to save the sharks. We do have yeah. 10 grand to give to save the sharks. We do, in fact, have 10 grand to save the sharks. So As Sarah and Kelsey are performing their duet, they are knocking the song out of the park just one bit after another just not missing a beat what to know every part of it and as they get through to the last part of the chorus Kelsey just throws her arms around Sarah and like picks her up and twirls her a little bit and almost drops her in the water at the part where it says all right uh, infernia we're coming down to the wire on this one lay down here beside me in the shallow water um not quite but there's a moment where she almost loses her balance and they both fall um but she manages to right herself and they managed to leave the stage to cheers and claps she grabs hold of sarah's hands and pulls her off towards the bar where she's just like drinks and orders a great. sparkling water sarah's Hold been given a, sarah's been given a prime up. opportunity to let's see if she can capitalize wow that was you're pretty good. And the me. bag has been fumbled. I repeat, the it bag has you. been fumbled. Every part of it was you. Me, I can barely sing. I can dance a little bit. But mostly, I just stood in the background and you made me look good. Which is really easy for you because you are amazing. Well, I mean, thank you, but, you know, 
It wasn't just me up there. It's never... Well, unless it's literally just me up there. It's never just me up there. Uh, well, it'll be you in a little bit, because I did put you down for another song. Just heads up. Um, oh, well, yeah, I mean, I put myself in there, too. We're, we're here. We might, we're doing the thing. We exactly. Well. So I just keep putting everybody's names down and, yeah, hoping for the best. Sorry, everybody. Cow's down for three more. <laughs> Uh, look, I've got three. I've got three aquatic-related songs that Cal could do. <laughs> You're not gonna like any of them. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I, I just got an idea. I'm gonna go. T I'm gonna, gonna run in and go throw a song in real quick. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna like take the the last of the money in my wallet, which is probably like my last, like twenty bucks. And be like, next. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's to the, it's covered. To the um, it's it's good. Just choose choose oh, a song. Right. All right. I just wanted to go make sure it happened next. Yeah, but <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's fine. It's Ooh. it's covered. All right. All right. Kelsey got money. What's going on? <laughs> Run back. All right. Rock climbing up. cannot pay this well. <laughs> We're all going up. I put us all in. Oh. Huh. All. <laughs> how? All when you say all of us. I guess all of us except Chad. He's on a mission, but yeah. yeah. Anybody see? Is he coming up for breath? <laughs> we turn to the you tank know? and Chad is dead in the water. <laughs> 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 that shouldn't be as funny to me as it is. Has anybody checked on Chad? No. Oh god! No. I uh, I got distracted by our duet. All right. I didn't even me think about chatting for a minute there. It was pretty awesome. Tell me. We'll have to uh, make sure he's not dead at some point. Make sure he didn't get eaten by mermaids. They can't be mermaids. Ow, I can't believe I actually thought of three aquatic based songs that <laughs> I actually have them. Yeah. All right. What's our, what's our group number, Sarah? What have our you done to number, us? We, all of us, including Carter and Cal, we're going to all go do bye bye bye. <laughs> is see. that ocean related no but it's a giant <laughs> group We're breaking it is the a state. group number now here's where you messed up right because i'm assuming this is oh, supposed to be like a group this. performance role this is gonna have to be a group performance role yeah <laughs> i'm i'm not even probably it's, it's karaoke Bad performance is yeah. still good performance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it ain't no lie. Baby, bye, Everyone. bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye. It's a giant, almost every Power Ranger, go. <laughs> I just... This did not go anywhere where I thought it was going to go, just for the record people in the chat um yeah um uh, yeah. cal is like checking the police radio to see if there's any crime he can like go and stop <laughs> on stage singing like mm. um, anybody somebody uh you know, real talk about anything? both the backstreet boys and in sync how many how how many times in any of their songs are they all singing at once <laughs> Like, give me, give me one of the, give me one of the boys that like only sings during the chorus. <laughs> Everybody, you know who you are. All of the time. Give As... me the, I'll be the Lance Bass of this, of this, of this group. <laughs> the my true dreams are going to space. Group, despite the awful choice in song, um, Michael. Hey. Um, what are you talking about? Bye 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 is a classic. <laughs> the Great. group begin to get into the singing, um, really start sort of performing, putting arms around each other's shoulders and sort of swaying backwards and forwards in that not quite a dance that people do in that uncomfortable dance moment. Um, and people were laughing. People were 
crying because they're laughing so hard um and what go ahead and roll me an alertness check check everyone all right so that's a crit yep. <laughs> except it's not but it's a 21 you know what i'm saying that's Ooh, a hell yeah on a the, okay that's a hell yeah on the dice and a one on the detail yeah i've got a crit on a 21 Five. 17 and a four and you can join, you know, like you can come. I we're, said yes. We're, yeah, yeah. We're wait, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> we thought you were coming. Like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I kept checking to see what was going on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I lost track of the results. Twenty-one. Twenty-one crit. Just five? Did you just get a five? <laughs> Only a five. Only a five. Yeah, all right. There we go. Well, technically, mine wasn't a four on my D4. It's a Santa in his sleigh being flown by reindeer. So I yep. think that counts. Yeah. You have a Santa for a four. I've got a hell yeah for a 20. It's all the same. <laughs> um, Q and Cal notice that as the laughing and cheering is getting... Kim back. More rambunctious. The people at the bar seem to be handing out drinks. Not necessarily alcoholic, but any drinks. Anything. And there doesn't seem to be any exchanging of money. Just, you go to the bar, you ask for a drink, they give you a drink. <laughs> All right, I know this is we're about to get into some Doctor Doolittle stuff, but like the way you said, the way you said go to the bar sounded like uh, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. It's like going to the bar, getting in a drink, get down tonight. Um, but yeah, uh, they're just handing out drinks for free. They seem to be. Uh, excuse me, Kelsey, did you like? Buy this place out? Um, define buy this place out? Wait, what? Drinks yeah, are currently I buy free? A karaoke bar. I wouldn't buy that. Buying a karaoke bar would be weird. I mean, it's a profitable business. I'm not saying it's like a bad move, but like the drinks are free for some reason? Is that a. Oh, I just wanted to make sure everybody was having a good time. So you did that, but that is a thing you did. Uh, okay, yeah. cool. I was really worried. We recently found out that there are shapeshifters in Angel Grove. So, like, everything is suspect. Sorry for the sorry for the suspicion. Yeah, I'm gonna... And then Cal goes. <laughs> um, no. Alright, now it's camera time. Time okay. to fix cameras. Now it's camera time. Give me a second while we fix Sorry, cameras. Sorry, Discord was being a dick. Also, my other stream had so many tech problems. My friend was just like, I give up and then canceled everything. So I'm here now. <laughs> Conveniently, hey. Sophie's in Mariner Bay having a nice quiet Sunday with her her parents. So oh. it's fine. Don't, don't, don't tell Peter she's getting into shenanigans while he's in the lab for a reason. <laughs> Right, uh, I'm just sorting cameras. Bear with me a moment. Mm, Mike, um, Mike yeah, Kelsey's probably... just like I just I just wanted to make sure everybody was having fun and. I mean, okay. Working, I guess. How? I'm gonna like turn to to Q and be like, "All right, so low ball estimate. How rich do you think Kelsey is?" Um, on a scale from one to loaded, I'd go near the very well-off end. Uh-huh. Do you think Sarah realizes this? I think Sarah's got other things on her mind when it comes to, um, uh, Casey, Kelsey. Casey Anthony, my favorite Roman general. <laughs> <laughs> In the case of Kelsey, I think Sarah's got other things on her mind. Huh. 
really hope this works out for her because honestly it's not been looking good so far no and i thought i was shit at um flirting yeah it's been an it's been a recent development but i've been working on analyzing uh analyzing romantic relationships and uh when you say that it sounds weird i don't think so you know case study case study and seeing how people act differently between the people they're interested in romantically and everyone else so like a sociological experiment yeah less of an experiment right. more just observation it's not like i'm doing anything. <laughs> it's not like i'm trying to in like it's not like i'm trying to affect the situation in any way i'm just watching okay still sounds weird when you say that <laughs> I mean, look, if I have to spend time around all these people, I should at least be able to, like, see how they work, right? That's a thing. You spend time with people, you learn about them. <coughs> yes, usually in a more organic and less clinically observing kind of a way. I mean, look, if I can... Yeah, with the group, Cal. Hmm? What's up? Is, is there anything you need to share with the group? Uh, aside from aside from the fact that Peter and uh, Peter and Sophie seem to be getting on really well, and Sarah is very, very, very bad at this. <laughs> In comparison, okay. well, yeah, that's a whole other level of worry. Like, I thought that Anne and Peter would like. Or Sophie and Peter. Sorry, Anne. I thought that Sophie and Peter would like have problems considering Peter is, you know, Peter. Peter yeah. <laughs> but like they're doing, they at least seem to be having a great time whenever they're out together. Meanwhile, and then just turn back to Sarah doing whatever it is Sarah's doing. What is Sarah doing? I think we're we're at the bar right now you uh bought the bar out for the night i just told them i mean i gave them my card and told them i'd cover the I, oh yeah yeah drinks i mean um damn <laughs> <laughs> I think Sophie just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. I. Uh, uh, never mind. Um. Sorry. That's Anne texting. Talking. I was just like, wait a minute. We're not texting only. Sophie on my on my on my flip phone. Come to. <laughs> what is this place called? The Mermaid Bar. I think. Come what to mermaid, under the scene. <laughs> come to Mermaid Karaoke Bar. Sarah bombing hard. Assistance needed. <laughs> Um, get a message back that says, um, wait, what time of day is it? It is the like four, uh, late afternoon. Like four, yeah. three, four. Yeah. Um, LOL, uh, just got out of lunch with my parents. See you there. All right. All right. Backup has been called. <laughs> wait, so is, in this scenario, is Sophie the little red sea crab from the film? Oh my god, you spent what? all that time at Disney and you've learned nothing about the Little Mermaid? <laughs> Cal is confused no, I do because know as we've established of... previously, Cal has never lot. seen the Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Jay knows a lot about the Little Mermaid. Q, probably not quite so much. But <laughs> yeah, I absolutely know it inside out. <laughs> Cal has not seen the Little Mermaid. Um. Kelsey sort of... Um... I mean, it it was my idea, and I invited everybody out. Is was no, it's great. Have I done something wrong? No, no, God, no, not at all. I was just taken aback. I guess I didn't. I didn't expect you to be rich. I guess I don't know. I was just surprised. I, I'm I'm not rich. Ooh. Inferni, I don't know what to tell you. Bags are being My fumbled left and right. Yeah, yeah, 
No, I mean, it, it, it's fine. I'm just surprised. I mean, I suppose technically I'm rich, but also rich, but yeah. it's family money. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Just. Sorry. Oh, I mean, you don't have to apologize. I appreciate it. This is, I'm having a great time. Oh. And that was the whole point. Yeah. I wanted to get you out and. I want everybody to enjoy themselves. Yeah. I think we all needed to be, to, uh, be able to just cut loose for a night. Real stressful what we do. <laughs> uh, and you were talking, but I don't think any of us could hear you. Been intending to say it out loud. I was just mouthing. It's four oh, o'clock okay. in the afternoon. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Look, um, we're old. <laughs> Yeah, everybody. Um, yeah. Um, uh, Sarah gets a text message on her phone, not her communicator, and it says, "You are really terrible at this. Look up." And it's Sophie waving from like the entrance. <laughs> oh, that's walking. Yeah. She <laughs> just she just got here, and she um like heads towards where Sarah is and just says hey how are you how are you doing how are you guys doing hey you made it yeah I got a little tied up with my parents um parents there were some concerns that I wasn't getting enough rest so I decided to take some time to just chill mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah. Where's everyone else? Well, Chad is on a mission to determine whether or not the mermaids are actually mermaids. Uh, and I think everyone else is watching Carter and Cal be weird. Uh, uh, jump cut to Carter and Cal having an arm wrestling match. Shirts off. <laughs> uh, is Dana around? Uh, no, she couldn't. Dana is not. Yeah. Yeah. Sophie will She's... send a text message. Hey, apparently people are at a place called Mermaid Karaoke Bar, uh, blowing off some steam in the middle of the afternoon. And then she goes to where Cal and Carter are, takes a picture of that, and sends it to Dana. <laughs> You don't get a response from Dana, but you also don't get any indication. You get an indication a message has been delivered. But not read? But not read. Yeah. What? Um... <laughs> Just, you know, probably a little bit busy or... Someone else, another medic who doesn't know... How to rest or have fun. Okay. Um, um, I look around where um, uh, I presumably don't see Peter, and then I go, Did Peter make it? Yep. Peter's in the No, lab. Peter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. To, it's, uh, in the midst of an arm wrestle. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention Q's back, <laughs> pointing at oh, Q. Hey. <laughs> Wow. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. walk. I'm gonna walk over to where Q is standing, presumably watching things, but not really doing anything. I'm gonna go. Uh, Sarah, you gonna be? You gonna be good? You guys good? I'm just gonna go over there and yeah. catch up with everyone else. Uh, I'm. We're fine. I'm just hanging out, talking. I'd like to roll an insight check on Sarah. How fine <laughs> is she not? Is Difficulty what I would like five. to know. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I've rolled like garbage before, so I wouldn't be entirely yep. surprised. Roll me a brawn check. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a little bit of that. 
Keep <laughs> dropping my D20s. Hmm. Literally the only one. So I can I could I pro- could I propose a bargain with you, sir? <laughs> because <laughs> because arm wrestling arm wrestling is more about uh leverage and angle than anything else. So could I instead <laughs> roll a science it. check? <laughs> <laughs> One of my legendary science checks, in fact. It's all lab coat on my wall. You know what? Yes, you can roll me a legendary science all right. check. <laughs> One, leg- One okay. legendary science check coming up. Y'all ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> the difficulty is <laughs> just by the way. Oh, and that one? No, that's a six, baby! Three and three! <laughs> Three on the D20, three on the D4. Nice. Legendary, Legendary science checks. The lab coat is suddenly on. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here. Where did that come still, from? Still shirtless, Jabut lab coat over. <laughs> Loses arm wrestling match. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carter, Carter just slammed. Raw strength. Mm-hmm. That tracks. Managed to get a 12 with his 1d20 plus 6. <laughs> That's almost as bad eight. as what I just did. <laughs> I rolled I, know. I rolled an... Um, hold on, wait. I have edge on that. Yeah, I rolled two, I rolled uh, with edge and rolled 4 twice. So I rolled an 8 on my inside <laughs> check on Sarah, but I did roll a 4 on my d4. <laughs> yeah. That's a crit. Uh, yeah. No, uh, internal yeah. panic. Like... She's panicking on the inside, super hard. <laughs> there is a smile that comes across her face. Uh, and then that's it. She just walks away and lets Sarah deal with it. <laughs> she's like, okay, she's a little terrified. I'm not going to try to help. I'm just going to walk over to Q. <laughs> oh. I'm going to be a jerk and ruin this for you. I saw what happened at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Smashed to that fourth wall. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Chad, all of a sudden, just climbs, <laughs> like, pulls himself up. He doesn't do like a really deep he swim, just, like uh, like a <laughs> salmon out the top. No, of the he just pulls himself up. He's just like arms over the side, and he's just like, oh. Wow, they can swim. Right, did you did you get any conclusive data? Yeah. Gills, I'm still no wearing gills. the lab coat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, mermaids. Mer people. Did you forget? Um I get in the water and it all just washes over you. Then <laughs> washes hey. over me. I see what you did there. Oh, I see boy. what you did there, Q. He's a clever one. <laughs> um, just yeah, just it does. It just washes over me. Just zen, complete and utter zen. Um, but I mean, one of them, I and mean, she's called Mariner. She did introduce herself. Marina. She introduced herself underwater. Marina. Or did you come up for that? I mean. It was difficult. We did. It was kind of like I went up, she came up. There was a bit. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. Gonna put a solid check mark in the probably there are mermaids category. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, like, this, they're just really good swimmers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. yep, I'm hearing you. <laughs> There's everybody there going, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. Do like, mm-hmm. I hear you. I hear you. What was I supposed to do after? Being a rescue swimmer, if it wasn't for light speed, um, this was your career choice. B, a very success. I mean, I was going to work at the a aquarium. very successful coast guard. Hey, right. how about option three, and you go date a mermaid? Yeah, I think she's looking at you. She's kind of pretty. Why are you for you, man? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
yeah, sorry I missed the karaoke guys, but you weren't missing much. Good. Yeah. Well, I mean we're doing great, but you're Are a good we? I'm gonna make friends. Yep. yep. Bye. <laughs> there goes another, back under. <laughs> there goes there goes another person who is better at relationships than Sarah. <laughs> Even without <laughs> using <laughs> Does, does Sophie hear what Cal? No, that's internal monologue between Infernia and Cal at the sports desk. <laughs> <laughs> at the sports analysis desk. So, so you're maintaining the bit. Got it. It's never going to stop. It's as long as people bit. try to engage in relationships on this on this stream, Cal will analyze them with his co-host Infernia. <laughs> I just, I would love now. If anybody in the chat does like any sort of fan art of or anything at any point, all right. So what he's saying is, Michael Cal <laughs> behind exactly. a sports desk, yeah, with Infernia microphones. What we need, like stats on the background. Permission, Michael. We need a virtual um, backdrop that Cal can just drop in behind him. So when he's doing his bit, it just goes okay, to like okay, so the, the first thing you're gonna need. There. The first thing you're going to need to do is buy me Discord Nitro, because I'm not buying that for myself. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll, we'll work on this. I, I will do anything for the bit. <laughs> good bit? It's a good bit. What can I say? Dirty bit. Yeah. Um, no, it's okay, Michael. We won't request any art department. It's okay. No, Michael. <laughs> the art department's you know, busy. We're not requesting it, though. Like, if you're bored one day. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. The art department <laughs> The art department is very busy. He's so overworked. Maybe he's sighing at the plumbing situation. Yeah, is that is that is that going bad? How how you doing? But anyway, oh back to back to Power Rangers. <laughs> we should finish this. Does anybody does anybody have any other songs they wish to perform yeah q is going to we force this window what 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 talking to myself sorry <laughs> ah cool i mean i can provide you the list of songs cal was forced to sing <laughs> um <laughs> has anybody sung kiss the girl yet from said mermaid film it was it was me i yeah. had to all ah, right you already know I had to do that, and I did good against all odds. You can see it again. No, I don't. Yeah, I'm good on. Like, hint, hint. you want me to roll? You want me to roll another seventeen and an eighteen with snap? All right. You now that I've it. now Matt, that I've gotten my failure of a science check out of the way. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> In which case, I shan't try and sing that song again. Then. What about poor unfortunate souls? So. The best song from The Little Mermaid! You can always use body language, yeah. No, I'm not... I wouldn't mock them in such an open and obvious way. How would you like I'd to want mock to you? coax them into helping, but no, I wouldn't be mean about it. Um, does Sophie have a song she'd like to sing? Um, I'm trying to think of something that might be um, mermaid themed or like water themed. Uh, um, Real quick, gonna go look up a Shape of Water shape soundtrack. Of water. Um, <laughs> um oh yeah, no, I actually, it's alright. I mean, you got a suggestion? Sophie would probably sing something, but it could work as a duet, know. actually. Peter. So the I'm song sure is called. Peter. Sorry, Michael, but not sorry. Um, <laughs> he's not here. So the song sorry. is from Irving Berlin's White Christmas. So it's an Irving Berlin song, and it's called "How Deep okay. Is the Ocean." And it's like um, a duet, but the two people are in different spaces when it's sung. But yeah. Aww. Um. Yeah, um, I don't know. Sophia's just like look browsing through the songs and um she's looking at you while she's doing this. And like, um, you know, if you have any suggestions, um, but also how are you? Um, 
Yeah, I'm still processing. I think it was a lot to take in. Mm. It yeah. space is vast. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um Yeah, well, I guess you're kind of tired after all that, huh? I mean, you were gone. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. So tired. I mean, what time zone is a different galaxy? Uh, <laughs> like, I, I could have ate. How does time even pass? I, I, oh, I, I tried to stop thinking about it because my brain doesn't know if I am technically younger or older than when I started. That's fair. <laughs> Slight meta moment here, um, chat, especially for the new people. When they had a call from Zordon, Space Time Zones, um, which I believe was two episodes ago. No, it was. Oh yeah, wait, uh, two episodes. No, yeah, Peter's episode. Yeah, wasn't it was two episodes ago. It? Yeah, um, the complaint was that Zordon didn't respect time zones <laughs> until they considered the fact that Zordon was in a different galaxy. Far, far away. At which point, time zones completely go out the window. Mm -hmm. Just like, yeah. To be fair, he called us at five. So this is. No, this is this is a very <laughs> this is a very long, elaborate bit. I Ace found another zones. song this that is, you could yeah. sing at this apparently only aquatic themed karaoke place. Uh, I know why, and so do you, by Glenn Miller, because that is a song that is on the Shape of Water soundtrack. <laughs> Boys in the Ocean by Todrick Hall. I don't know. If nobody has any other no. songs to sing, I mean, uh, it's not ocean not. themed, but you know. <laughs> I mean, look, I could provide you the list, but I'm I don't want to roll performance check, so I'd rather we just we just move yeah. along. Yeah, I did not There's prepare songs from Moana. <laughs> you could sing a song from Moana. Uh. Cry me a river. That's just... yeah. <laughs> Look, shark in a fist just... fight, uh, astronaut in the ocean. <laughs> what can I say? Can just I around the rift bend, yeah. <laughs> rolling down, rolling the down the river. Of the. Sophie. At the end Sophie of the karaoke. Sings, Sophie sings your Bridge over troubled from water. Moana. <laughs> just. You're for, welcome. I like just, that. just to be, um, just to be completely, like. Obnoxious. Pelicans, we. Actually. <laughs> There is going to drag oh. Sophie and Kelsey for uh, Waterfalls. Ah! Nice. Yes. So don't go chase him. Don't well, go yeah, do it. That, that, I love that. <laughs> that's a great idea. That's, that's the last song. Or the that's what we end on. We end on a trio. heard a whole list only one of them was water themed vaguely <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did i did do this myself though i chose the mermaid bar but how could i not you did how could I... Um, what the... I threw that in as a joke i mean you what the hell dude? And you chose the mermaid bar who gets Hilarious, presented with the mermaid also, bar and what the hell, dude? i mean dude i mean you could sing yeah, it that was on me you I'll could put my hand up you could sing anything by um the ocean color scene <laughs> Dude, uh, Cake by the Ocean. That song, DNCE. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the karaoke... That's so good. I love ...afternoon that slash evening. We make it all the way to evening? <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, it was four o'clock by the time you started. Yeah. Okay. Like, by the time Sophie got there. Yeah. So by the time everybody would finished singing and joking, laughing, just enjoying themselves... Um, I'm, I'm gonna bring I'm a, Kelsey. Sorry, sorry. I was just gonna say I'm gonna do a bit that I did in a different game, and I'm gonna grab Sarah and Kelsey and uh, take a selfie. I'm gonna send it to Peter and say, "Wish you were here, having a ton of fun," and send it. <laughs> sorry, now you may proceed. Kelsey. Okay, 
Kelsey grabs like both of you by the shoulders and as Sophie sends the message, she like still hand um Oh around. hello bot. Um Yay, new bot. Go away, bot. Man was trying to talk to me um, in my native language. wasn't a, wasn't having it. <laughs> <laughs> sort of drags Sarah with her over to the bar just to sign off the the card and pick it up, and turns around and just um. So you you had a good evening. You you're feeling relaxed and chilled out. Just yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was you. Maybe one want to do it again sometime maybe not karaoke but we could we could go out for dinner or once again infernia it appears that kelsey is making maybe all of the moves do. herself sarah's really got to start playing ball if she wants a chance to catch up this season it's not looking good sarah.exe Sarah. 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 has stopped responding i i have <laughs> i i have a question number one is sophie still kind of caught up in this whole thing with because she had just taken the she's selfie. She's not pulled you along, but you're not too far away. Uh, she's gonna so you quickly. Can hear it. She's gonna quickly say, you know, this was really fun. Uh, but uh, I have a lot of schoolwork and stuff. But you guys should totally have dinner. And she walks. <laughs> she walks away <laughs> and pretends like something's oh, yeah, going on her just... phone. You and prime assist, Sarah, just like, prime assist from Sophie. We'll see how it hap. We'll see how she capitalizes. Uh, Sarah, yeah, I mean, uh, goes red immediately. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, of course. Y yeah, yeah. Like, ladies and gentlemen, we have lift off. Let's go. <laughs> like. Where's it hard? Like a date? Like Yeah, like it like a date, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean if the, if that's okay. Oh absolutely, yeah. I yeah. Yes. I wanna stop Matt, saying yes now. This is the part in the edit where you will play uh the sound of a, a roaring crowd cheering and applause, Vuvuzel is going off. Well done, Shinji. <laughs> no, not that. Not that. <laughs> not what he just said. For sure not. <laughs> um, we don't need more Ava references. <laughs> less of them. Cool. Much um, many more well, less. I I had a really good time. Yeah, no, it was great. I, I had a blast. Just maybe we can do dinner in Angel Grove. Like just pick somewhere near your college and I can I appreciate you you you're more busy than I am. I don't have to do classes as well as you know as well. the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, no no for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll come to you. Perfect. Just pick a restaurant nearby. Yeah. I will I will do some research. Find a good place. Maybe Cal knows cool. knows a good restaurant. Seems to know annoying don't don't say that don't say that when i didn't know a karaoke place <laughs> yeah, don't I, don't like hype me don't gas me history. up when i was very i proved earlier this episode that no i don't <laughs> it's always weird he like he knew us he knew a security guard at the mall but then he didn't know i don't know he knows weird people but you never know i Maybe knew clay doyas pete <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly but yeah i but, Definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah, a date. Yeah, a yeah, date. Date. Ladies and gentlemen, we have liftoff. We are a go. The season is looking good. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. We um, end up analyzing people's romantic relationships. <laughs> I I have to go um, back with these guys. Yeah. But yeah. Sophie, inter find somewhere soon. Yeah. Definitely. Sophie intercepts Kelsey after they're done. Just a sec. Uh, before she leaves. Um, yeah? Hey, um, trying to reach Dana. Um, a while ago, uh, do you know what might be up with her? Just curious. I'm a little uh, concerned. No, she... She's, 
she was uh, she was heading into town. She just had some shopping to do. Oh, okay. So uh... just having a bit of a a, a, a day. Yeah. Uh... Like a you know like a girl's day. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to make sure. Usually. Um, yeah, I'm just not used to her not picking up my task text. Um, yeah. You know how those big buildings can be. Sometimes they just don't get good signal. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Anyway, thanks. And then she uh, she like no. offers up a fist, and she says, "Finally." Just... Right. <laughs> yeah. Just... yeah. Sometimes I didn't think she liked me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sarah has flopped into a booth and is just breathing. <laughs> Cal is going to give her, like, a glass of water. <laughs> uh, good luck with that. And then she, like, pats Kelsey on the shoulder and um, goes back to join Cal and Q and whoever else is still around. Cal just holds out a hand for a high five from Sophie. Oh yeah, Sophie gives Cal a high five. <laughs> yeah. Nothing nothing needs to be and... said. We understood. <laughs> <laughs> on that successful end, on that successful note. <laughs> um We will just take a short trip. Here we go. Just to see not what expecting, I believe. Because what we're going to see is a pink ranger, but not Kimberly. We are going to see Dana as she is battling her brother one hey yo (laughs) the other thing i thought was happening (laughs) phone yo that's why i got left on red damn it wasn't even on red you were left on sent (laughs) yep received at least Uh, you were left on dead no it was sent it was unread yeah unread her messages to her team unable to be received whatever trap she's walked into perfectly sprung and it seems that would make sense i was like man no one in mariner bay has a good cell provider plan because Kelsey's <laughs> message didn't get through it seems as if despite their initial misgivings the demons of mariner bay and the aliens of angel grove or the moon are working together because surrounding both dana and ryan as they battle it out is a field of energy reminiscent of the one that surrounded goldar and peter and the one that surrounded Kimberly as it prevented her from teleporting away. Hey, yo. No! Matthew, how dare you? I just got here half an hour ago. Oh, no. Why did um, you do this? And how dare you? On that note. Um, oh, boy. So, Michael, what was your favorite scene? What was your favorite moment for another player? Yes. <laughs> um shit uh, specifically god i don't uh... i mean i think kim like as, as much as the kelsey stuff was great like getting that close with kim was probably my favorite part and i mean the award goes to the sportscaster. <laughs> <laughs> and the bit that I refuse to let die, even yep. after it's gotten old. It's, it's a okay. great bit. I it's like fashion. It. Yeah. it comes back. <laughs> cool. 
Yep. We'll you we'll see him again next time. There's a weird, awkward relationship thing happening. <laughs> oh, that's never gonna stop. <laughs> Jay, we just gotta hook you up with something. Oh, I got two dogs. Slightly grumbly. Um, favorite scene, <laughs> and favorite moment for another player. Um. So again, it was Kimberly. I didn't expect her to appear. And it was my brain was ga- playing a game of um, how will this end? Is it a trap? Is it a putty? <laughs> no, it's her. She's just not landing. <laughs> In terms of favourite moments for other players, um, probably Cal would be the only one to end up in an arm wrestling contest and then roll twice <laughs> and still not get it. <laughs> what you mean roll twice i didn't roll twice i just rolled a three <laughs> and then a three <laughs> on my d4 i wish i had had edge in that but no i just one of my science i can never roll science despite the fact that your room science roll yeah my legendarily bad science science than sophie because mm-hmm. um, you have the d4 because i have a d4 mm-hmm. and yet here we are uh, favorite scene? I mean, my favorite scene is also my favorite scene for another player. Uh, the face plant at the, the, on the balance beam. The, the fumble. <laughs> You're welcome. The fumble that generated a story point, which I then immediately spent <laughs> on the, what might be the meanest thing I've ever done on this show. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, you just you just fucked up in a terrible way, and guess what? Your crush saw you do it. <laughs> Didn't have the desired effect though. She was quite, you know. I mean, look, I'll take I'll take the credit for that close moment. <laughs> it's all me, in fact. <laughs> You're welcome. You're just like stupid. <laughs> and uh, and same. <laughs> who got here half an hour ago? How you doing? <laughs> she was dipping in and out as she now, could. But- um, watching. Well, okay, so I was trying really hard to, like, you know, keep tabs on you guys. I was, you know, but um, I just love being able to come in for the last half hour and uh, save Sarah from herself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun. Um, but, um, yeah, that, that bounce beam moment at the beginning, I was like... Damn. But also, like, did I see someone else attempt something on the balance beam? Did Q also get on that balance beam? Kimberly yeah. did. Yep. Uh, Q did a moment as well where he did a dismount yeah. in front of Kimberly. Um, and Kim. Oh, uh, that's fun. Did a few bits. Um, BT Dub, Sophie's going to get on that balance beam at some point for no reason. Just like how they have Kimberly in the in the show. <laughs> you start a scene and she's on- flick flacking, yeah. That's the yeah, point. yeah. I I want that. That's, That's yeah. Sophie is this this team's Kimberly. She's gonna be flipping yeah. everywhere. Dab um, away the imaginary sweat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like, I I definitely am gonna as soon as it's uploaded to YouTube, gonna watch it, have it on as I'm like winding down for my day. So I'm gonna fully catch up. But also mermaids. <laughs> uh, Matt, yeah, you're okay. kind of. You're kind of a genius for like pulling at all of my favorite parts of Lightspeed Rescue, and but somehow also still making it your own. It's it's genius. I I love it when you do it. I I I genuinely have no idea where it came from. It was a joke. It was a bit. It was like Mariner Bay, mermaids. It works. And then Michael went with it, and then I was like. Okay. Um, Somewhere in there, I remember. Uh-huh. You know, yep. also, I was like, we're getting shot now, water. Also, <laughs> officially, because now Sarah and Kelsey are going on a date, she is technically a step up <laughs> from where Peter and Sophie That's right. are now. Mm-hmm. So I'm you're winning. winning right now, but we'll see how that works out. I think I think once you get past this point, Sarah will be winning consistently just because Peter. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, love you, you Michael. Get, get, get no shade. <laughs> Sarah's a slow Sarah's, Sarah's a slow starter, but we can expect big things from her later in the season. <laughs> Chad, she's gonna she's gonna take off. Chad and Marina. Marina? Marina? 
Um, Marina. 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 The might Mariner. Up, might be up, way up here. They could be engaged by the end of this episode, the way it seems to be going for them. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, His prowess truly mating. knows no bounds, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We'll get there. But you, you, you don't know how mermaid mating works. <laughs> thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, thank you very much for the new follows. And to anybody that hasn't, Thanks. follow, like, share, comment, etc. Et Bring your friends. Tell a friend. Yeah. Bring your friends. Chat with us. Tell you're not. Tell people on the street. Tell every, yeah, just random yeah. people. Shout, shout the name of the out. stream from the rooftops, in fact. Yeah. Yeah. A sandwich board? Walk around town. And when you get arrested for shouting from the rooftops, tell the police about us. It was Cal. It was Panic. He did it. What? So um, That's you, racist. You can just blame the, the Mexican. Power, may the power protect you, people. Have a good one. You can't just pin the crime on the Mexican. Too late. Bye, <laughs>